Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some Oni. And, uh... Just getting reacquainted with this base again. Ooh, what is all this? Oh, that's right. I think I found this earlier. We need to dig up to it first. We've also got another... Uh, geyser here of some kind. Um, I definitely want to take advantage of the cool salt slush geyser. Um, I was thinking this could be both our water supply and a bit of free cooling for the whole base. If we if we create a loop of water to pump around. Um, that we take here, uh, take from here directly, and then I don't know if negative temperature. Well, it's already like warming up here. I don't know if I would need to put some automation in so that we don't put uh, negative something degree brine into our uh, what is it called desalinator. Do we have the desalinator yet? Let's see. Desalinator. We do. So what is it underneath? Is it refinement or liquids? Refinement. Okay. So it's quite cheap to uh, to make a little bit power hungry. Salt water and brine, oh, brine rather goes in five kilos per second. We get 350 grams of salt per second, and the rest of it is water. Or I think it's, no, I think we get a lot of salt out of brine, right? In your cloth, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. How, uh, good to miss speaking time. Uh, hope you're doing well. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Um, so the question is, where are we going to set up these things? We've also got a cool steam vent, so not hot enough to run an electric engine, right next to our cold biome and anti-entropy thermo, thermo nullifier. Um, but I'm thinking it might be easier to do our electrolysis from, from the water supply from our cool geyser. Let's find out what our next geyser is before we make too many plans. Oh, I think I was muted. Whoops. Um, but yeah, Veldak already has the next pawn name reserved. We're waiting on getting a cook. And... Have we used this? No, we haven't used it yet. Um, I think I'm going to stop at eight pawns. Um, for the moment, at least. Can I not get... We need some proper bedrooms. Where should we put them? We've got the mess hall right here. Oh, that's right. I was going to extend this so that we could have one, two, three, four. As many 
This could be our barracks. We can have as many uh, cots as we need here. But what about light? It just barely doesn't reach this cot, actually. That's convenient. All right, let's extend our room over here so that we can move this stuff. There's actually not quite enough room unless we dig into the polluted water, polluted oxygen, which I'm trying to avoid until we can clean it up. I could probably put it here instead. That's probably the way to go about it. We just need six tiles. Alright, let's get that done as a slightly higher priority. And we've actually deleted a lot of carbon dioxide already with the carbon skimmer. Read? What? Still digging. Fantastic. Let's speed the game up a bit now that we've got a bit more of a handle on things. Our shove vol egg is 38% incubated. Ah, uh, yes, Oni again, indeed. D host, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Red Stonier, welcome, welcome also. Our storage is actually already half full. Um, maybe we should do something about that. How's the temperature over here? It's quite cool. Whatever this problem was, it's pressure. Oh, it's low pressure. Okay, so we need more oxygen. Okay, well, we'll get that sorted in due time. I think the goal for today, at least, is... Uh, to get some... Let's put this over here, if only for the symmetry of it. I think the goal for today is mostly to get a proper water system working. For that we need some desalination. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this whole nature area right here. We do have our park up here. It's actually technically a nature reserve. And... I wanted to get uh, chlorine gas. I wanted that to be the norm for the atmosphere in our water room so that it'll clean the germs. Where's the germ overlay? Germs are not so bad right now, at least. Can we mark this to be disinfected? Or is it something inside? I guess it's something inside the storage bin. Okay. So I'm going to need some kind of airlock that actually works. Um, to go into the area where we deal with water. And I think, unfortunately, that means I need to do one of those fluid-based airlocks. Otherwise, we're just going to keep losing our chlorine that we pump in there. Um, so what's this actually going to look like? Um, let's see. I want a nice big area for the water reservoir, like bigger than normal. Maybe just six tiles tall should be fine, actually. Uh, 
I want to have room for... What is it called? Liquid reservoirs and storage bins under the water. So that we can have like double the storage for fluid, but also uh, have some underwater storage for things that would normally off gas. Buy potato? What? Um, but where do I actually want this? Probably at this height. Let's say we do it at this height. So this would be the bottom of the water reservoir. Uh, and then we could have a door up here, except we need... This might not actually be enough room. Maybe I should go another floor down. Except then we've got to move this stuff. It's a bit of a problem at the moment. Um, if we are going to have one of those water-based airlocks... Then... It would have to be something like this, right? Or could we make it a little bit smaller than that? I don't think so. So the storage would fit under there, but not the liquid reservoir. And I definitely want to have some machines above it as well, probably. I definitely want to have the option. So I think we're going to have to put it down here. If it's going to be in line with some other stuff. Then again, I don't... Do we really care that much about lining all these things up? Probably not. Let's suppose we start it here, though. Um, so we would have something like, right, they need two tiles to walk through, right? I think we could have it like this, and then the water would be like here, 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 and here, with the weird way that it globs under things. Evil player, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we put a bottle emptier here? Yeah, we can. Alright, so tentatively... Tentatively, it's going to look like that. And then... We have, like, some mesh tiles or ladders or something along the top here. What are you working on? I'm trying to do a good uh, water reservoir design right from the beginning. But it's going to take up a bit more space than I necessarily had in mind to begin with. Um, if this goes... down here. Well, we're gonna have to uproot all of these plants, whatever we do. Can I find a order for that? Or do I have to pick all of these one by one? No, here we go. Dig. That, that'll work. I could maybe make uh, start by making it a bit less tall until we expand. So if we leave room for a liquid reservoir here, uh, we could put the floor here. It would be a lot easier to deal with in the short term. What's the tallest building that we might want 
above the water. Uh, desalinator is three tiles tall. Fertilizer, three tiles tall. What else did we end up using? Anything that was four tiles tall? Don't think we'll have a hydrogen generator, but that's only three tall anyway. Carbon skimmer is two. I think I would prefer to have room for four tiles up here anyway, but... It's probably fine for now. And we should have the airlock on the other side as well. So again, we have to do this weird thing. I can't actually build that yet to plan it out. And this would go here. Also, we need to make sure we have room for a pitcher pump. I can't really plan that right now. Okay, how many tiles does this go down? One, two, three, four. Alright, that should be fine. I think we can put it closer anyway if we want to. Yeah. Alright, let's plan out our weird little airlock once more. So two tiles in from this. I might put a door there anyway. And then... So this would be a door. So this would go here. So this would go here actually and this would be deconstructed. I think. And I don't need this here just to measure for now. And we'll need a pump here. Maybe I'm getting this wrong and there should be a tile here. I don't know if they could squeeze through that. Alright, let's just try. Liquid, water only. Fantastic. Not sweep only. Copy settings. And go. And then, how much does mesh tile cost? A hundred metal? We'll see. Alright, is someone going to use this pump or what? Errands, nothing. Errands. Benwu, no pending deliveries. Okay. Alright, let's crank up the priority on these just so that we can see if it works. I guess it's dinner time for the moment, though. Let's speed things up a bit. Oh, we got our research station moved. Fantastic. Let's get rid of those. And... Max size is 64 tiles. How many tiles is this? Uh... 96. That's gonna be too many. This would be 36, 72, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we'll, we'll move this over a bit. So, 
Remove that. Add a bed there. Probably add a bed here, actually. Can I make a copy of this somewhere? Probably further up, where we've got less oxygen for the moment. In fact... Can we put this on a ladder? That seems a little bit weird. Let's put it here for the moment. And why is... we've already got... oh, it's already... it's all one big circuit. Okay. Let's just do that for now. Whoops, 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 there we go. And remove that. Alright, I want eight beds in small enough rooms so that it can count as a barracks. How many beds is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Remove that one. Remove those two. Larius, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's make sure that we don't leave people without beds. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this going to be 64 tiles? Fantastic. Maybe the bottle emptier is only for wiped up. Uh, no, it is not set to sweep only. Status auto bottle off. Duplicants may not specify specifically fetch liquid from a pitcher pump to bring auto bottle. How do I enable that? Oh, here it is. Secret setting. All right. I don't know if this needs to start one tile higher or not. We'll see. And we'll put that there. Actually, can that be corner? Make it a corner. Where is it? Furniture? Fantastic. It has the same... It has the same decor bonus, but whatever. Mikelet, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Barracks, morale plus one. Uh, eight beds, 64 tiles, max size 64. Fantastic. Beep, beep, beep. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rimworld slash Terraria meets something. Uh, Rimworld, not really. <laughs> um, but it is... There is a colony sim side to it. It's kind of like... What if you had to manage pawns but also solve engineering problems at the same time while slowly running out of resources and cooking to death? Fantastic. Yeah, I think I probably had to put the bottle emptier a tile higher. Can we get a chef? We cannot get a chef. I'll take the snazzy suit, though. Let's just assign that to Ben Wu. Let's double check how this circuit looks. It seems good. We're getting more oxygen up here. Should get more gas pressure, so the plants won't be upset. What's this? Duplicant skills? Sloder has lots of morale available, and we now... Oh, we've got super hard digging already. But I don't see myself picking anything else for Sloder. Super hard digging it is. And what about this colony summary? 
Ghost of Gravitas. Oh, I see. The lore entries. Alright, we need to dig this stuff away. Actually, I want... I want to put a pitcher pump... It won't actually let me put these here. Alright, in that case, let's dig this stuff out first. Whoops. If I do this, can the dupes squeeze through? I don't think they can. I think maybe this has to go down a tile, or... We'll see. Errands... Nothing yet. Wait, is it trying to fill water to this tile, or... and not to this tile? That might be a problem. No, there's a job waiting. No pending deliveries. Okay, I stand corrected. Let's move this bottle emptier up a tile. And we'll probably need... Can I put it on a ladder? I actually can. Nice cheap way to do a... Sort of mesh tile. Nice and quick to build. Um, I did want to get a peek at whatever's in here. Maybe we shouldn't dig through the Abyssalite by default. But definitely have a look down this way. Carenza, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wait a sec, did that... Did that work? Yeah, it seems to. Okay. Um, so now we want... We can't actually put it there. Unoccupied space. I've definitely seen them placed... So that they're sort of sticking into a wall. But I think it's this tile that's the problem. And then we can put that there for now. And I guess we're not going to be using this one. In the position it's currently in. We're still getting slush for another 66 cycles. That is quite a few. Can we get this built, please? Oh, is this gonna... Invalid building location. Okay. Um, they'll probably build it anyway, but it just won't work. But I think I will have to put a mesh tile here. Hey, Ben Wu. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, copy settings. Uh, enable auto bottle. And crank up the prio so that we actually see this work. There we go. I'm hoping to get these three tiles and this tile uh, having some water so that it acts as an airlock.
Doing fine, how's things by you? Yeah, not too bad. Extremely pleased with how ridiculously quiet my computer is now. I actually sort of for a moment thought that it wasn't turned on this morning. Uh, when I powered it on, the customary sound effect that accompanies that is absent, basically. It's so quiet. Everything fixed? Yeah. It was a challenge, to say the least. Removing... Okay, so installing a CPU cooler was hard enough, as it usually is. Um, just because of dealing with um, the... Like, the mounting stuff. Not to mention the massive, massive heatsink, which barely fits in my case. And good luck to you if you drop a screw down there or if you need to plug something in around it. But more to the point, the old uh, backplate, the backplate of the old CPU cooler was uh, glued on, basically. And it took a lot to remove it. And then after I did remove it, it took about an hour of s gently scraping away the, um, uh, what was left of the adhesive. But we got there eventually, and we didn't kill the motherboard. Somehow. despite the surprising amount of force and infinite dexterity required to get the job done. Oh, what's this? What? Wait, what? Okay. Disable auto bottle. Did we do it? Could we not do it without overfilling that? I think we did it. Let's deconstruct these two. And let's mop up to the sides. Let's also mop up this before it spills down here. Actually, if anyone's down there, let's let them come back. I don't think anyone's down there, though. No, we're good. Alright, that should keep the gases separate. Now we need to repeat it on this side. Mesh tile. I guess I could do it on this side, just to make it a bit easier to queue all of this up. And then we put this tile back. Um, there's no need to sweep up this water since uh, this is going to be our water storage. But let's get rid of the debris. And... Bottle emptier can go here. Now, I might expand it further down later on, but for now I've left room for liquid reservoirs underneath this floor. Um, and we certainly have room for storage bins. I'm thinking a dedicated storage area for the slush might be good. So that we have that buffer. Hey Morpheus out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are we doing up here? Quite well actually. 
Let's see what we've got. I'm surprised we could build a ladder there, actually. And we have a natural gas geyser. So that's just straight up free power, right? What temperature does it come out at? 150 degrees? Okay, so we have to deal with the heat when it comes out. But other than that, it is actually just free power. How do we deal with the heat? Uh, probably by... Using steam power to delete it, I guess. An aqua tuner and a steam engine won't run itself. It'll actually cost energy, but it will delete heat. Uh, and the heat will mitigate the cost of running it. Hmm. Do I dare try to... I don't have natural gas generation just yet, anyway. Do I dare try to exploit this already? It's quite high above where most of the base is going to be. I also want to check out this security door. So let's get that done. Can we dig up here and not kill the abyssalite? That salt water is gonna spill if I do it like that. Hmm. I'd kind of like to just make room to get that salt water out of the way. I'm probably overthinking it. We could just do this. That should be fine. Oh, there's salt water here as well. Maybe we could just mop it up. Maybe it won't fall. Wait. Wait. This doesn't go anywhere. Well, I guess we can... There must be a reason to bioscan it, surely. Pro probably. Printing time? Do we have a chef? Cooking, plus one. That's not great. Um, but it is more interest in cooking than anyone else we've seen so far. Do we take this one or do we wait? Let's look at the rest. Requires light to sleep. That's a problem. I don't want to have to deal with an exception like that just yet. Um, if it weren't for that... Hard digging? Well... We've already got two diggers, but I guess that wouldn't hurt. Digging, cooking, and supplying. I'd probably take it if it wasn't for the nyctophobia. Should we get more shove falls? Probably. Um, critter egg, shove vol egg. There we go. They're probably gonna put these shove vol eggs back in at the same time. Can we crank the priority on this? Also, while there's nothing in there, let's get that debris out of the way. Alright, is that all of our shoveful eggs? 12 kilograms, those are not the units I'm looking for. Boop. We got one, two, three, four, five, six shove ball eggs. Nice. Skill time? 
we got Carenza. Uh, is probably going to do Critter Ranching. Because why not? Probably why not because you've only got one morale to spare right now, actually. And this is going to be net negative one. Uh, I guess we're not critter ranching just yet. Not until we make... Not until we make our dupes a bit happier. Water. Enable auto bottle. Filters not designated? Oh, there it goes. Uh, let's crank the priority on this. And we may as well put a door here, I guess. If only so that we can control movement. Um, and I would like to remove all of the gas in this place. I want to... I want it to just be chlorine in here. Where are we going to get our chlorine? We've got some here. We've got some here. We've got some here. How are we going to get it without contamination? Um, obviously, we're going to need some filters. We can definitely let people through this door again. Why do we have a poker shell just standing here? The materials overlay is better than the breathability overlay for identifying gases like chlorine. Materials overlay. It kind of is. It definitely is. Thank you. Hello. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can then change it to gases only if that helps you notice it. Gases only. Oh. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. Extremely easy. Okay. So the plan is... Um, maybe mesh tiles? Pardon me, might take a little break in a moment. It's a mod that colorizes the breathability overlay. Nice. Alright, when are we going to start desalinating? Desalination. Is it under plumbing or refinement? Refinement. And I guess it would probably go here. Um, possibly. Yeah, I definitely want the pitcher pump. Oh, the pitcher pump has to go all the way down here. That's a little bit unfortunate, I guess. It's fine. I definitely want ladder access to under here to be nice and reachable. And this is actually going to line up with tiles that we might put here as well. I feel like this is not going to end up being enough space for whatever I want to put above the water. Possibly. Do we have a CF? I don't think we do. CF. No, we haven't researched this yet. What? 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 
expect okay okay and algae distiller doesn't necessarily have to be in the same place i think let's check what does it this doesn't spit out gas does it no nope, it's literally just salt and water which means it could really go anywhere as far as i'm concerned um, I think I'll probably have... This is not in the best spot for our future plans, but... Actually... We can build here, that's not bad. Why don't we put... A manual airlock... Oh, wait, what? Must be built in un unoccupied space, but we can put tiles here? No, we can't put tiles here. Okay. Never mind. That really does mess up my plans for where this part of the base is going to go. Maybe we just won't go that far in this direction. Um, polluted water on the other side, though. I think it's time to accept that I'm going to have to have deodorizers. Um, it just removes 10% of the air, but it was polluted anyway. Oh, we get clay out of it? That's weird. Wait. It turns filtration medium into clay. And, and polluted oxygen into clay, basically. That's interesting. What are we looking at? Five watts each. Okay. I think... Before I open this, I would need a way to deal with polluted water as well. And I need a... An area to store polluted water that's going to kill the germs. That's why we need the chlorine. Oh, I wanted to have separate storages for water and polluted water. Maybe this whole area could be water. And we could have polluted water below it or something, but this stuff's in the way as well. Why don't we do a temporary one over here, I guess? Um, I need to get rid of this water first. So maybe... Let's get a pump going. It's about time. I'll do a ladder down here. We'll do... Pipes. And... I don't think I want to go... For the moment, at least, I'm not trying to put the water level higher than this. So then we need some power, which we're just going to siphon off from everything else. I might have to split it up into a couple of... Uh a couple of circuits, which I could actually do pretty easily. Let's maybe do that. And then we connect the wire from down here. That seems good. Oh, that's even worse. Um, whoops. Except realistically, we're never going to run all this stuff at once. Should be okay. Can they not reach this? They can. Oh, we've got our other waterlock 
Oh no, that was the first one. Absolute derp. Uh, can we crank the priority on this? It's already cranked. They're just taking their sweet time filling this one out. I owe you this as well. So it doesn't seem like any liquid actually gets moved when they go through here and get soggy feet. Fantastic. Now that I think of it, we're probably going to get a little bit of regular water spilling over to where our brine is. It's probably... No, that's terrible, actually. Um... Let me just put a little catchment area here for the moment. And we'll mop up whatever little bit of water might spill over there. Because a little bit of water or no water is a big difference for what we have to do to bother to filter this out. Alright, so if we're going to have the liquid vent there, I guess that'll have to be a storage bin. And we can fit... I was going to say we could fit reservoirs. Well, we can, but what I'm thinking about is... If that pipe is going in here to begin with, maybe it should just go through the reservoirs? I could build uh, many of these right now, actually. What if we have them one tile apart? That doesn't quite line up with that, does it? And it wouldn't either. Can we do something a bit more symmetrical here? Like four on each side. I would have to move the pitcher pump. I don't particularly want to do that. Actually, there'd be nowhere for the pitcher pump. Okay. So if this was... There'd be no ladder down if I put that there. Windows, I do not care for your setup thing. Go away. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I guess this is just going to have to be a bit irregular, perhaps. I won't... I was going to say I won't worry about it for now, but if we're going to have it, the liquid reservoir, as the input, basically, then... then I need the whole thing done now, pretty much. Let's see. This would be here on this side, right? So something like this. One, two. Except then when, then where is the ladder going to be? I want everything to be symmetrical, but I don't think I can. 
Uh, I haven't actually built this yet. It's not too late. So if we start with the reservoirs over here, where they're like a bit harder to access. Because we don't need to access them for the most part. What if I just do the liquid reservoirs at one side and the storage is on the other? We can put the storage on the latter side. That should be fine, honestly. And then... Let's actually put these in series this time. Oh, that won't work. Uh, if I do it like this, can we repeat that? I think so. Let's make it consistent. Zigzag line every time. I like this. And then... I would need a bridge for this, I think. Unless... We could put this here. That is not a small amount of extra storage. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Will the liquid vent be there forever anyway? Yeah, because I'm going to get water from other sources that comes here. Um, and I'm going to aim to not have a filter in our water storage area. We're just going to get clean water in here in the first place. Alright, so that is a few building jobs. Achievement earned. I guess we already looked at it. Research complete. Distiller, ethanol distiller, what is he of? Fantastic. So, as I recall, the water CF doesn't get rid of the germs. Um, if we put polluted water in here to get regular water out. However, if we have uh, chlorine, if we have the entire atmosphere above the water as chlorine, then we won't have germs. And I'm just realizing right now, actually, I did not leave room for a pump to take the water back. So let's do that. Uh, let's see. Pump. Are we really going to need more than like four to six storage bins under the water? Probably not. And we can put, uh, well, I was going to say we could put a filter right above this, but no, the point is that we don't need one. So this is just, just going to go to wherever. We need water. Are we done? Not even close. 62 cycles until this thing goes dormant, although it is currently not in an eruption period. I think I'd like to move the storage area and have this as our bathrooms. Erupts in 0.2 cycles. 
Indeed. 45 seconds to go. Not allowed by schedule. Okay. I do wish they would hurry up and fill this. Oh, there's someone on the way. And then... Is chlorine lighter than air? How can I tell? It's, I, I imagine even if it is, it's going to leak out a bit, probably due to pressure differences. Mass? Oh no, that's how much is here. Chlorine is heavier than oxygen. Okay. Heavier than CO2, it is not... Heavier than O2, is it not? Uh, I don't know. Alright, that's that's it for our water here. Fantastic. And we did catch the little extra bit that came over the side. Nothing is contaminated yet. You love to see it. Let's mop these up, and remove this. Hey Veldak, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. I forgot where natural gas falls in the stratification of common Oni gases, but it is also heavier than oxygen and lighter than CO2. Okay. Do we have a chef? Oh, perhaps. Kitchen Menace? No! Really? Cuisine minus three. Interests. Cuisine plus three. Uh, will they eventually get good anyway? Increased food morale bonus. Increased germ resistance. Uh, incre oh, decreased decor morale bonus. Don't know if we want that. We've got another one of those over here. Talk about a lousy cook. At least he'd be extra impressed by his own stuff, indeed. Tio Greva. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I think we'll just take the muck route. We've only, we've only got one slot left, with my arbitrary limit of eight dupes until until we reach stability, basically. Um, so we're gonna be picky. Are we not pumping this water? I guess it. Oh, this isn't built yet, so it has nowhere to go. That's. Fine, I suppose. How's our food? 56,000 calories. 57,000. Fantastic. I remember that was a problem a while ago. Now, why are these plants upset? Pressure. Oh, that's all CO2. Wait, why are we so low on oxygen? What? When did this happen? Are we out of algae? We've got 21.6 tons of algae. Oxygen, diffuser, no power. Um, and I think... No, I had one here, but I moved it up here. And we've also got this one. 
Um, we've got the, or at least one of the oxygen diffusers set as max priority. Do I just need to set the generator as high priority? Also, I think I just saw some polluted oxygen. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is. All right. Why are you making... No! Ben Wu! <sighs> Priorities. What? I have priority nine on both of these toilets. And I haven't been abusing priority nine much. Why are they both out of order at the same time? And water is spilling down into our brine. Uh... And now I have to... Mm. I have to do this all over again. And we have to... We have to sort out filtering of polluted water before we're ready. Need to adjust to priority. I mean, if we've got jobs that are... If we've got a handful of jobs that are priority 9, it should be a higher priority than whatever it is that they're looking to do. I think it's tidying. You can check the errand on the outhouses to see what category it is. Life support supply. I mean, I think they got past the tidying job. That is extremely disappointing, to say the least. So we've got polluted water off-gassing. We need to do the tap thing again. We have... Water contaminating our brine supply. Which means we'll need a filter where we previously wouldn't have needed a filter. And we need to hurry up and make these uh, deodorizers. That is unfortunate. Alright, so once again, bottle emptier. At least we didn't get polluted water down here. I don't know, does that even matter? And there's germs. Oh, they're slowly dying. Interesting. Does brine kill germs? It's taking its sweet time, but they are dying. It's really taking its sweet time. I think they're leveling out at like 2,000. Great, so whatever water we do get from this is now going to have germs in it. All the more reason we need the chlorine. Did polluted water make its way into the salt water? I didn't think so, but we've got germs. I thought it was just like one little bit of water. Okay, is this just water? Apparently... Liquid, water, enable auto bottle, high priority. What are they doing there? Still sweeping? Oh, there's a lot of granite here. Okay. 
How much longer until these shove fall eggs? A while. A hey, whiskers? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How did this happen? Does salt fall? No, I don't think... Maybe I didn't... I'm sure I did a zigzag here earlier with the digging orders. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, uh, di, di, how do I pronounce that, honestly? To Kifa TV? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Good to see you again. How was the rest of your stream? Decipher? Decipher. I see. I see, I see. Have we got this set up properly? Yeah, Karenz is on the on the task. Fantastic. It was great, dude. I appreciate you popping through. No worries. All right. Um. So if we're gonna do our desalinator. Like, I think I want to just throw it together somewhere early to get it done. And we can maybe move it later. Was it plumbing? I think it was refinement. Desalinator. So we're going to get a bunch of water and a bunch of salt out of it. could put the water into that pipe. If regular water gets in there, it's gonna get upset. There's a tiny bit of regular water here. Can we maybe just run it without the filter and then when it complains we can empty it? No, it seems the water's gotten all over the place. All right, we're gonna need a filter. Frickin' Ben Wu contaminating everything. Let's go liquid filter. Um, and we'll go water up here. Hopefully we won't find out there is polluted water down here. Can we just run this thing underwater? Is that okay? Desalinator goes here. I bet we're going to find out that the answer is no. So let's maybe not do that. Desalinator. Uh, I'm going to need a liquid bridge already. I want it to... I want the output to bypass this storage here. So we'll just send it straight to the uh, liquid vent, I think. Liquid bridge. And then this goes here. We'll need to get rid of these two and put in... I guess it could just be regular tiles. Lazarek, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated, thank you. Good morning, how are things today? Not too bad, not too bad. Not going perfectly smoothly, but we're basically getting things under control. Thank you very much again for the three months. Maybe... Okay, if if I had gotten around to removing these tiles, what are the odds that someone would have made a mess exactly standing here or here? I wonder if an airlock door would have helped at all. Probably not. Is 
Does this, um... It does produce heat. Everything produces heat. Except for our cool salt slush geyser. Can they not start building that until the tile is fixed? Oh, and we need output pipe. Let's just send that directly to the liquid vent. Wish Prime subs would auto-renew. You have to manually renew them. All the more, thank you very much for that. Alright, let's remove this, deconstruct this again. And I guess... It doesn't really matter if other fluids get down here now. Or at least if it's just water. The thing with Oni as well is it's not enough to just come up with a design that works. You have to... oh, what is this? Did someone else make a mess at some point? Oh good, there's polluted water in here as well. Oh, that's... not helping. Um, can we actually mop that up? That would be surprisingly helpful. If we only left... if we were left with just water here. Alright, let's put that back again. And... I think I saw them squeeze through here, so we probably could have made this smaller. Yeah, we definitely could. Okay, well... If we end up having to redo this at some point, I'll definitely make it probably like this. You're most welcome. I enjoy the content, though I lurk a lot. Lurking is valid. Most of my consumption of Twitch is lurking. Let's bring our power down here. Hopefully we don't end up overloading. Oh, we, we can't yet. And I need to set the settings on this filter. We want... Regular water to be the filtered water. Oh, wait, what? Liquid water. There we go. And we want the brine, or rather, well, yeah, the brine to go up to the desalinator. That's a lot of... wait, why is there chlorine up here? When did we let chlorine in? I... Oh, that's so much polluted oxygen. Why is there a mess up here as well? I'm pretty sure we had at least two dupes make a mess and I only noticed one. And this is the same mess that was down here. Which means we need more deodorizers. Can we actually put those on ladders? No. I am glad I included these extra little tiles in the artery of the base. 
What are we printing? Biohazardous decreased germ resistance. Well, there's no chef in here anyway. So I think that's right out. Are we almost ready here? Fantastic. There's a piece of pipe missing still. Iorerto, thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Starvation? We have 60,000 calories. What are you... Also, why is there still no oxygen? We've got algae. We've got oxygen diffusers. We've got... You're joking. There's a piece of sand here. Okay. Apparently, this thing being top priority doesn't mean automatically remove the stuff that entombs it. Um, so let's make the dig job top priority. And, in fact, let's do that as well. Until we get some air. No, that doesn't mean... Go and do your thing when the bell rings. That means do this or else we're going to die, actually. And everyone's asleep. Okay. Top priority, by the way. Could, could we please get someone to save our lives? Thank you, Sloda. And apparently, thank you for just two seconds of operation. Alright, Whiskers is on the job. Whiskers has stopped. I think they can only get a little bit done before they run out of breath, which is a lovely little catch-22 that we have here. Let's see if we can put an oxygen diffuser right next to the generator. One little piece of sand almost assassinated the entire colony. Keep suffocating. <laughs> Yellow alert. Wait, what message did I just get there? I don't know. No research focus selected. I am not concerned about that right now. Um, but whatever, just so I don't have to think about it later. Why don't we knock off... What should we knock off, actually? Carpeted tiles? Apothecary? I don't have the luxury of finding time and room to make a medical room at the moment. Um, why don't we just make a effort towards smelting. I still don't know why anyone is starving though, when we've literally got 60k calories. Evil Pla. Properties. Uh, or is it status? Calories. This bur duplicate can burn 950 calories before starving. That's going down alarmingly quickly. Could you please eat something? You were on your way to eat something and then? What are you doing now? That looks like eating. Okay. Does this thing have... It does not have a delivery of algae. No one thought it was necessary to put algae in the oxygen diffuser that's right next to the manual generator that is top priority because we don't have enough oxygen. Alright, now it's done. 
Now we have some air at the generator. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Fantastic. All right. Priority nine it is. We're not dying just yet. That emote, though. Alright, what's your problem? Pressure? Not enough air. Uh, we need 480 watts for this thing. Which, for the moment, just implies... Generators. Although the generators themselves are actually only 400 watts. I don't want to put coal generators in here right now. A wood burner is actually only 300, but we don't even have any wood. Alright, I guess we only have one way to go about this for the moment. Um, I know all of this won't run at the same time, but we could very easily overload if I don't make this another circuit. Let's put a battery here for the moment. Now, why is this pump not doing its thing? Pipe blocked. Filters, pipe blocked. Water? Can I see its contents? Output pipe is blocked. Or is it because this thing isn't working yet? I'm not seeing a way to see the fluid contents. Liquid pipe contents empty. 400 grams of brine. Oh, this... Oh, brine is white on this display. Okay. So that is full of brine. Okay, that's working. Good to know. Oxygen is making its way through the base. Fantastic. Food has decayed. Well, that's unfortunate. I think we need to let them catch up on their tasks for the moment. Since we have this fluid falling down all the time, it's a shame we couldn't take advantage of hydroelectric. I'm sure it wouldn't be a whole lot of power, but still. And I think I would like to get this water pumped up there as well. I'll wait till this is empty and we'll move it down here somehow. Let me just make this low priority. Store food in the sterile environment, it won't decay. Yeah, there's just too many jobs right now. If I make these uh, mesh tiles, we can get like several more tiles of water stored here. But this is probably fine for now. Okay, time to see if the uh, 
Let's see if we've got everything set up right for the desalinator. Actually, considering the art style, I'm curious to see what this is going to look like. Oh no, they're... They're letting all the water into these tiles. Rip. Oh well, I'll just have to deal with that. Here we go with some battery charge. And the desalinator immediately falls over. I'll definitely have to put the generators somewhere that we've got oxygen. That might be a good idea. Speaking of which, can we maybe get started on... ...replacing the gas in here with chlorine? I should probably figure out where I'm going to put these generators first, though. I have no idea, honestly. Probably... You know what? We've got a little bit of space here. Let's just do that. I'll need a wire bridge. Or two. Spaghetti ho. And I may as well just delete those already. Fantastic. When they build the tile in the water, the water gets displaced. Oh, okay, cool. So it's not like Terraria's water behind a tile. How's our skills? Oh, lots of them, actually. Uh, Whiskers has a million morale. So I don't see why we wouldn't increase field research. Mad Trim, also lots of morale. Uh, I think we need farming more than we need art at this stage. Carenza. Carenza was like neutral. It was Carenza, right? Where we had no spare morale before. Probably because everyone was starving for some reason. Probably because everyone was running around out of breath. Yeah, I think this is fine. Evil Pla. Should we go? I think we should definitely go for mechatronics engineering. Let's do that. Uh, Kevin? Probably, what are we going to have for, this is net negative one, yeah, we can definitely already get all of these skills. Missioned airflow tiles are weirdities, indeed. One element per cell, that's what lets the water airlocks work, I see. Hey, damsel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are we doing tonight? Uh, mixed results. It's probably fine. Let's just get improved carrying out of the way and then we'll do construction. Uh, and then we've got our first plumber is Benwick. Okay. Unfortunately, we were not able to keep our fluids from being mixed, and now we need a liquid filter here. 
I'm good, so happy to watch you play this again. Uh, glad to hear it. I didn't do it yesterday because I'd had enough stress for the last couple of days. Uh, alright, so did I not mark this for deconstruction? I did. Yeah, so what I want to do this time, I might extend this further down below for a larger storage and or so that there's more room for machines, but uh, we're going to have a water airlocked liquid storage room uh, and I want to fill this with chlorine so that it'll automatically get rid of the germs. Where are the germs? Oh, we do have some here. I, I can't seem to point at the... Yeah, there are germs in here, although they are relatively low. So much for keeping the germs out of here. So I guess there's no reason to worry too much about... What was I going to do? What, what I've done in the past is had a water CF and we pump polluted, uh, polluted water in here and just filter it and put it straight back into circulation. But then we get a bunch of germs. But if we fill this with chlorine, it's going to kill them all. Fair enough, right there with you, indeed. Yeah, you, you got to be in the right mindset for some Oni. Unless you've already mastered it, I guess. We are turning brine into water and salt. How much salt do we have? I can't see any. Does it just spit it out here, or...? Using brine, emitting water, emitting salt. Where's the salt? Oh, wait, what did he pick up? Oh, that was water. Click the machine and read its info stuffs. Contents salt. Oh, okay. So you don't just see it get spat out of this machine. Someone has to come and pick it up. Does that mean its output is going to get full and it's going to block it unless I add salt to our storage areas? Miscellaneous. Abyssalite. We can store abyssalite? Can we build anything with abyssalite? That would be cool. Industrial ingredient? I don't think so. Apparently we already have access to some reed fiber. Where is salt? Oh, here it is. Consumable ore. Alright, we've already got it set up so that we can have storage for salt. It requires emptying. Okay. I think I already want to move the storage area because I want this to be the bathroom. If I do... Do we need the wash basins in the room that has the showers? I guess not. So we could have, like, well, the thing is, I want to keep this nature reserve if I can. Minimum tiles 32, we've got 36. So we could have something like that. That gives us room for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We could have three wash basins, three toilets. That's probably enough for three, uh, for eight dupes, right? And if we have the showers in another room, we don't need the wash basins for those, surely. Uh, 
I think that'll be okay. All right, printing time. Is this going to be our chef? Cooking, plus two. Decreased creativity, increased decor morale bonus. Perfect. Increased medicine. No interest in medicine. Ranching and cooking and researching. Is this going to be our Veldak? I think it is. Uh, you've actually got the same unpracticed artist. Plus one cuisine. Doctoring, researching, cooking. How many doctors do we have? Doctor... We've got no medicine compounding. Can't doctor... Oh wow, that was lucky. I could have just not had a doctor. Veldak's gonna be our doctor chef researcher. <laughs> Who is buff, apparently. Interesting spread of skills. And without even looking more at this, flatulent, it disqualifies. Alright, there's our eighth colonist. Go get him, Veldak. What's this problem? Colony lacks grilling? Oh, skills. Veldak. Grilling. Fantastic. That's your first job. Priorities? Uh, where is he? Oh, he is down the bottom. Cooking. Supplying, storing, sure. Researching. How about this? Fantastic. Straight to work socializing. All right. Um, I'm not going to bother with this until this ward is empty. It's actually almost empty already. And I could put a liquid bridge here and run this up through here. Maybe get started on hatch ranching. Yeah, we'll get there. I really want the fluids handled before we continue. I don't want more messes made. Speaking of which, we could definitely start building this ahead of time, now that we've figured out where it's going to fit. Uh, lavatory goes here. And I'm pretty sure all of the sinks, showers, and lavatories... Uh, is it under medicine? Wash basin. No, sink. Yeah, they have the same layout for the input and output. So we're going to have water. We've filtered it before it comes in, right? That's what we're telling ourselves. So the water pump... I don't really want to run the pipe through the Grand Hall, Great Hall, because it's got negative decor. Oh, wait, pipe doesn't have decor. That's surprising, considering dupes hate the look of wires. All right, then. Uh, we can just run pipe straight up through here. Probably. And all the way through that. Not like that. Not like that. And then we'll be ready to just replace those sinks. 
or wash basins. You wired it up differently than you intended. Uh, which one? What did I wire? When was the last time we were doing wiring? Or do you mean the pipes? Oh. No, that's terrible. That would mean we're pumping water in where Brian is supposed to go. That was close. Okay. It is an awful lot of power that we need for the desalinator. The desalinate is fine with accepting water. I'm guessing that's not all there in the manual. Yeah. Research complete. Fantastic. Uh, where are we going to put a kiln or rock crusher? How much heat does the rock crusher make? A lot. Wow. It's almost as bad as the um, the proper refiner. I see polluted oxygen. I don't like. These things only draw power when they actually do something, right? Like everything else in this game, actually. We have no power for this liquid pump. What wire can we borrow? Maybe I should get started on a main power thing. Do we have the 20 kilowatt wires? Yeah, we do. And I can do that behind ladders, right? Yes. I would have to fit, I would have to fit transformers. Maybe I should have made the, the main artery of the base wider so that we can fit transformers coming off it. I'm definitely fine with using joint plates to go to things like, to go to rooms that are not going to have nice decor anyway. And where we don't have to worry about using insulated tiles or anything like that. I don't know where I would put... I mean, I'd like to put it down here, but there's all this stuff in the way right now. This is probably where I would put some coal generators. Uh, Buvin? Buvin? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And yes, I did catch that. Alright. Um, for now, I think we're sticking with spaghetti wire. So maybe this one? It's still got power to spare. We'll run our water pump off of that. Can I get a water sieve? Refinement? Yeah, here it is. Polluted water is going to come down this way. 
output water gonna go there input water like this and we need to hurry up and get our chlorine in here so that we can clean those germs uh, should I actually make it a vacuum in here before we try pumping the chlorine in? I'm thinking probably yes. So let's go with a gas pump. And come to think of it... Hmm. No, that should work even if it's raised up, right? Probably. Let's find out. Now where am I going to pump the gas? Probably just out here. In fact, I can just do it right there. It'll be nice and easy to deconstruct. So then I'll probably put that pump on the same wire. Which can theoretically be overloaded, but not actually. If I hurry up and get this water filled up up here, that'll push the gas up as well. Alright, I think what I might do is... Put an airlock here. And we'll climb down here. I think I'll build... Wait, what, what's the requirements for this? Atmosphere, chlorine. I have to leave the chlorine there if I want to take advantage of those balm lilies. Um, what does it actually produce? Produces balm lily flower. Medicinal properties. Hmm. Should I pick and choose which of these I'm gonna take the chlorine from? Probably this would be easiest to exploit the natural plants. So yeah, we'll probably suck up this one. And maybe put some tiles. Well, no, the plants are gonna... The plants are going to cry anyway, so... You know what? Let's leave the natural plants in place. And we're going to put our... Our gas pump. Maybe I should use canisters. Automatically stores piped gases into canisters for manual transport. How big is that? Oh, it's kind of big. 3 by 2 Um, it doesn't require any power. Canister emptier. We need refined metal. Okay, never mind. We could put a gas pump here. We need to run our vents all the way up here. This is going to be in the way. I'll have to widen this. A little bit. So something like whoop 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 nope 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 there we go and then up here and I don't know I guess it doesn't matter if we're pumping it into a vacuum does it matter if I put the outlet at the top or the bottom I'll probably put it at the top since the water would be down the bottom anyway. Alright. We'll 
we'll go downstairs to finish that a little bit later, though. Priority three. Not you. I don't mind if they hurry up and build some of that. I predict you running up against weird game physics soon. Uh-oh. So when you pump into a vacuum, what happens? I... I would think the gas would rush to fill... all of it somewhat equally, right? If, if it's actually... A perfect vacuum in here and we pump a gas in then we're gonna get a little bit of that gas in all of the tiles I would imagine so it shouldn't matter if this is like at the top or the bottom or whatever probably Does the water react to air pressure differences? I don't know. What would it even do, though? I don't, it, it's not going to go a tile above here, no matter what, I'm pretty sure. It's not like the suction of vacuum would suck the water all the way up here. Wondering about your water airlocks? Um, it's just, each tile can only have one type of thing, I think, and for some reason, even though the, the scale of, like, the costs of things in metal and everything suggest that everything is not tiny, um, fluids behave as if we're ant size or something along those lines. Uh, so we can get, we use a, what is it called? Uh, bottle emptier in a position like this um, and we just drop water here and basically the water sticks uh, and because this water because there's no continuity of like air through here we've effectively got an airlock no surface tension no surface tension Air and gas can't intermingle, yeah. Oh, I think you meant air, air and liquid. Looks more like a huge amount of surface tension, yeah. And somehow the dupes are able to walk right through it without disturbing it. Very low gravity, that might make sense. I haven't thought of that. Oh. Wait, what? How did... Oh, I remember. Why did you... I think there were some tiles... Yeah, sand. Okay. There was something that fell down here, so we ended up with salt water where we didn't want it. Actually, I wonder... That might be a strategy. Um, if we want to analyze this natural gas geyser, if this is full of fluid, then it can't output, right? We've already got the fluid down here, we may as well do this. Don't walk all the way up here and then turn around. Good grief. Alright, so where are we up to? We've got our gas output. It's actually powered as well. Fantastic. Haven't seen it working. It's not like we can see products finished. What do we got here? Carbon dioxide, only 114 grams. That doesn't seem like a whole lot. Or does it? 
carbon dioxide, 1,000 grams. Yeah, the air is already, or the CO2 is already pretty thin in here, actually. So once we're done emptying it, Oh, we've got a, lav uh, a lavatory, and it's been used already. Fantastic. Let's make sure we connect this. All the more urgently, we need to get this chlorine in here, since we'll be filling our water supply with germs shortly. Germ... that's not germs. Oh, that's hardly any germs so far. Still. It varies by element, but in general, one kilo is a standard gas tile. And 1,000 kilograms is a standard liquid tile. Yeah, that's... it's... that's oxygen and water, right? Or, well, for the most part, the pressure down here is a bit higher. Okay, can we see, I guess, materials overlay gas? Can we see the difference between CO2 and... I guess we don't have anything to compare it to yet. I wanted to see if there were any... Um... We're down to 2700 milligrams in this tile. I'm looking for vacuum tiles. I think I just saw some vacuum tiles. Yeah, mouse over it does nothing. Cool. Let's pause it, take off the filter. We can't see any... It doesn't say vacuum, it's just blank. Interesting. Is the gas gonna... all find its way here? Or are we going to end up with a little bit of CO2 stuck in here forever? I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing. Oops. There we go. Can't really see the difference in how much is left in each of these tiles, but we are running out... Uh, the most distant tile with gas in it has four grams? Three grams, almost? That is not a whole lot. Less than a gram up here. Right, that's going to get done sooner than expected. What do we have? Um, we're not adding any, any pawns. Joya seed. Jumping Joya. Isn't that just a decor plant? Farm plot. A decorative plant that brings a feeling of calmness and well-being. Okay. Looks like gases in Oni behave as well as liquids in Factorio. I don't, I don't think we have to jump to such a slanderous conclusion. Damage overheating. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, that's, that's even more heat than I expected. Um, can we just disable this building for a while? I might have to wait until we have some automation. I did want to use the brine that we get out of here at negative, what is it, negative 10 degrees at first. I did want to use it as like a cooling loop. And then once it gets above zero degrees, we could pump it into the desalinator. It's broken! No! Uh, 
uh, I was going to say, wait until it's above zero degrees before we pump it into the desalinator so that the water that comes out doesn't freeze in the pipes. But with how hot this is, I guess that's unlikely to be an issue. Is someone going to switch this off? Please? Okay, you know what? Hurry up. I don't want it breaking again before we sort this out. There we go. Probably just normal priority is fine. Tuckling has its own priority category. Yeah, I wish that wasn't. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, usually the way to... That's not what I'm looking for. Usually the way to go is toggling is a super high priority. Okay. No! Why? Why would you build it in that order? You've let all of the chlorine out. Why are you like this? I, it, it's my fault, really. I shouldn't have trusted them with anything. Uh, we do have this airlock up here, at least. Oh, now you're building the airlock. Good, good job. Good job. Now that it's too late. I, should I even bother building the second one? There's no reason, is there? Probably because building materials for the ladders and pipes were right there. Yeah, I should have prioritized. I've said this before, but I really wish you could have uh, separate priorities for every every piece in a blueprint in Factorio, so that instead of building in a effectively random, arbitrary order, the bots would actually build things in an order where it starts doing something useful before it's finished. Uh, this is still unreachable. We're not getting... we are getting chlorine up here. It's gonna get into the base. Okay. What about our uh, natural gas geyser? Can we analyze this? I think we probably... Oh, I think we've actually already exposed the tile that would cause this to output... But because we've got fluid all over it, I don't think it's going to work. Veldak requires learned skill. We've only got one skill up right now. Actually, Sloder has already learned everything that he's interested in. I don't think... It's a great idea to add anything else. What have we got unlocked here? Uh, template shifting. Fire pole. Fantastic. Let's replace all of these. And these. And I guess we can dig up here. Uh, 
space is sustainable, but for how long? That means it's not sustainable. Velblaud? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, unless we're talking about approaching the heat death, uh, we're not sustainable. Robo Jumper, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And yes, we are able to analyze it, and I'm pretty sure it won't output. I mean, how could it? There's literally nowhere for the gas to to go. While we're here, I should probably queue up submitting bioscan on these things. I've already done this. Uh, have we... Did we use the neural vacillator? I think it has a tiny brain if we've used it already, right? What's the worst that could happen? In we go. Seems good. And I think I had to do something manually to allow the, the dupe to leave last time. So I don't want to take my eyes off this. Oh, is it already done? Yeah, this is it. Vacillation complete. And he just sits there. Running out of oxygen. Uh, inspect. I scour the internal systems and find something of interest. Agricultural notes. We've engineered crops to be rotated as needed depending on environmental situation. While a variety of plants would be ideal to supplement any remaining nutritional needs, any one of our designs would be enough to sustain a colony indefinitely without adverse effects on physical health. Some environmental survival issues still remain. Differing temperatures, light availability, and last pass changes... Last pass? Changes to nutrient levels take top priority, particularly for food and oxygen producing plants. Selected in response to concerns about colony psychological well-being. While design should focus on attributing mood-enhancing effects to natural briar pheromone emissions, the project has moved to the lowest priority level beneath more life-sustaining designs. Alright. Do I have to click this? Something feels different. Complete neural... There we go. Beldic's brain is still vibrating, but they've never felt better. Regenerative? Health plus 20 per cycle? That would have been good last time. <clears throat> I mean, nothing. Consistently regenerating health. Let's try not to use that too much. Oh wow, that's so fast going down the pole. I mean, it is on triple speed, but still. Uh, let's get these lavatories set up. Now that it's just a copy-paste job. I guess that's going to take a minute. So I need a temperature sensor or something. This has already generated so much heat. Hmm. I get the feeling we're going to be net positive on heat. No, wait, didn't we do the math? 
because the cool salt slush geyser spits out negative 10 degree brine, 5.6... Well, it doesn't matter the volume. Um, because it starts at negative 10 degrees and it produces this much heat, I think we figured out that we come out ahead on heat. If we're using that for our water supply. But the problem is the heat is concentrated. Congrats, Dupe Veldak, you're Wolverine now. <laughs> Indeed. Are we still getting rid of this gas? Oh, we got vacuum. We've got two... Oh, never mind, it's gone. We've got an extremely small amount of carbon dioxide in this corner. And vacuum. I think we just witnessed it running out. Fantastic. Alright, so time to pump in chlorine. So we can get rid of this. And we need to finish this. Um, come to think of it, I should just open this airlock. Don't worry about building this down here. Uh, I'm gonna have... Because now, now we have to filter it because there's carbon dioxide and... Probably polluted oxygen. Just what I was trying to avoid. Uh, ventilation. Gas pump. I might have to get rid of some of this, actually. Gas pump. Gas filter. Can I put that on top? No. And... Pipe down here. Output anything that isn't chlorine. Wait, this is gonna... We have to use the yellow one for the desired output, don't we? Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we're gonna put... I can't put a gas vent right there. I guess we need a bridge like this. That's so awkward. Yeah, that's about how that's going to go. Oh cool, you can't reach that rock anymore, can you? That's about how that's going to go. And we will of course need some power. Which is kind of a problem. Oh, I could throw down a generator right about here, actually. How much does the gas pump use? This is 120, and this is 240. 360. We can actually run the whole thing on one generator for once. I need a battery, though. Can I just squeeze that in here? I don't think they'll run it if there isn't a battery. Speaking of which, we could probably use this for this water pump as well. Although that's nowhere near as urgent. Alright, so our filter is specifically chlorine, and the chlorine goes yoink, and everything else gets spit out the side. We're going to fill our water room with chlorine, and that way when we recycle our polluted water, 
Uh, yes, there will be germs, but not for long. That's the idea, anyway. What are we printing? Curative tablets? I don't think we need another poker shell, do we? Oh, I need to get this done. Uh, medicine, sink. And that will be a higher priority. Plumbing. Lavatory. Uh, actually, I want to make sure there's as many sinks as lavatories at all times. So... We'll leave one of these wash basins here. When we go for the third pair. Or rather, we'll we'll deconstruct a wash basin, replace it with sink, then put in the lavatory. Direction right. Actually, why don't we just do the sinks first? Why is this getting to it's heating? Oh boy. What can I do about this? Oh, I guess the fact that it's vacuum doesn't help with the heat, does it? It's actually rather difficult to vent heat in a vacuum. Uh, let's just get our chlorine in here before we take another look at that. This might cost us a little copper. but we definitely don't want to stop our desalinator. Uh, set direction right, remove this, add this, lower priority. Uh, these two should be... I can't actually set priorities on this. Only doesn't have heat radiation. Uh-oh. Can we get that built? Actually, let's crank it up a little bit. I could probably go ahead and remove these as well while we're at it. Alright, set direction right. Oh, we already got the lad. All right, it's done. Fantastic. Maybe it would be good if we had a bit more storage for the polluted water coming in. I don't know where I'm going to put it at this point. But usually the CF can keep up very easily. I think I should just move this battery, actually. Where can I put it? Um, I hate that I'm considering putting it there. Let's just do this for now. Okay. Let's 
Seems good. What about this chlorine? Still waiting on a few building jobs. Can I crank up the prio on that a little bit? Actually, I wanted to make that just construction jobs. Oh, this doesn't have a priority. That would be a nightmare to add to the simulation. It might be pretty uh, CPU resource heavy as well. I don't know. Depends how you do it. Maybe don't do it every tick, for starters. How are our skills looking? Carenza has Critter Ranching, number two. Fantastic. And Sloda, again, has a skill that I don't know if we'll ever use because... Already Sloder has done everything Sloder is passionate about. Alright, battery successfully moved. Fantastic. That's it. Oh, is this actually done? Which uh, generator are we trying to run here? There it is. Let's go prio like seven on this. I want to see it done, but I don't want it to be a super high priority in general. Oh, we've got power. Why isn't this working then? Oh, because the wires aren't done yet. Okay. That's all delivered, and you're just gonna stop with, let me guess, someone else is queued up building those two specific pieces of wire. No, I don't think that should have worked that way, because we've just got the one oxygen mask. Maybe I should build another. Yeah, I don't have to add anything else. This is already in position. We can have another oxygen mask dock. And... Make one more oxygen mask. Fantastic. Now we can have two dupes down here at the same time. Which we probably should have organized before in case one of them falls over or something. One piece of wire. Okay, here we go. Fantastic. Chlorine is on the way. And we still have, not that I expected otherwise, but this is indeed a vacuum. Beautiful. And let's see that germ count. Uh, let's see. Germs are already dropping. That's only going to get faster. There's a little bit of polluted oxygen in here somehow. There's more pollu- what happened? We've definitely got the filter. How did- 
I don't... I don't know if it came through the pipe. Let's keep an eye on it. I mean, it's probably not the end of the world. I guess. If there's a little polluted oxygen in here. I'm kidding. It makes me sad. Dirty water evaporates into polluted oxygen? How did dirty water get in here? I don't see any. Is it from the polluted dirt? From the water sea of? That's probably it. Uh, that's nasty. Alright, how about... I don't think we'll find it under filtration medium. Miscellaneous. Organic. Polluted dirt. Algae. Slime. I don't know if we need to keep algae in there, do we? Whatever. Everything organic, for starters. Let's just put in these containers. Uh, and I kind of want that to be a relatively high priority. Because we don't want that stuff off-gassing. Looks like all the polluted oxygen ended up in one tile. Wait, it's gone. How did that happen? If it somehow got cleaned by the chlorine, then it should have there should be a tile of oxygen. Or did the dupes breathe it in? Rounding, maybe? I didn't know that was a thing. But whatever, I'll take it. Apparently we just have pure chlorine in the in here now. That'll do. Uh, we should probably sweep whatever this is. Oh, there's a hatchling egg. Storage unavailable. Isn't it just going to drown as soon as it is hatched? Unless I move it. Can't put eggs in there, can I? These storages are really, really full. Hatchling egg. There we go. Alright, it's a start. How's our gem count? 47,000... 46,900... 46,800... It's getting there. Okay, why are germs increasing over in this corner? We've got chlorine. It's only 166.2 grams. It's actually about the same everywhere. Why are we gaining germs in the corner? And this one's hovering. That's so weird. Check the germs tab of the game cell. Germs tab. No surface germs. Food poisoning, change rate negative 3%. Dying on liquid? Uh, it makes it sound like it's going down. Oh, it's hovering now. Yeah, I think we'll get to zero germs here eventually. But it does... Oh. Oh, that's a bunch more germs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that's what happens at bathroom time. Although it does seem like... When there's more germs, they die faster. Germs die rather slowly in a merely... 
in merely a non-ideal environment? Hmm. Alright, well, hopefully we can catch up to it. This one's gaining. Now it's dropping. I just hope we're net negative on germs before the day is out. What are we printing? Sand? Well, we're not adding more dupes, so yes. Alright, how much chlorine do we have left here? Uh, none, I think. Like, literally none. It's all up here. Uh, that's a shame. I guess we stopped pumping already, though. Unless I want to let more chlorine into this area. But... Okay, will it help if we have more chlorine in the air? I would imagine yes. 166.8 grams doesn't seem like a whole lot. So I think... If we're going to use a natural farm, I think this is the place. So I think we'll let this in. And carbon dioxide will be heavier, so we probably don't even need to move the pump. Let's find out. Uh, but for now, I think it's a little bit past time to take a little break. Let's do some words on stream. And we'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and see you soon.
One more. One more. Fantastic. All right, let's continue Oni. I'll pick this up later. And where were we? So we just got our chlorine. I was actually thinking about this. Um, I wonder if we need a tile of chlorine above a tile of water. Um... Like, if this fills up to the point where the water fills up these tiles here, until we change it so that we have some more mesh tiles, wouldn't we only have like three, four, five, six uh, tiles, maybe seven, where the uh, chlorine is exposed to the water? Would that mean that our rate of getting rid of germs would be drastically reduced? I could move the liquid vent output uh, down a tile. That would be a problem, actually. Or I think I would rather just have mesh tiles. Wait, why can't I... I have to click these individually? Okay. Seems good. Chlorine is subject to weird game mechanics? Well, I guess we'll find out. Alright, so... What do we have here? Chlorine and polluted oxygen. I think I would definitely... Yeah, if we're going to exploit natural plants here, I think this will be where we do that for chlorine. So I don't mind digging into these now. Although there's hydrogen in there as well. Oh, it was up here that I was thinking of. If we can suck out the chlorine from here... Uh, maybe we can have a relatively easy time of digging in to take advantage of this space a little bit after that. That's the hope, anyway. Oh, that's a surprising amount of brine as well. Um, yeah, I might have to block this off. 
I don't think we're ready for this kind of volume yet. And it's only because the desalinator produces so much heat. I don't know about consuming all the salt that we receive either. We can make table salt and sand. And we need sand as a filtration medium. So there's that. Rock Crusher. Should I maybe start on trying to figure out... I shouldn't have put these next to each other. I can change it. But more to the point, should we try making a cooling loop already to take advantage of the cold brine? Can we put brine into, for example, our metal refinery? Significantly heats and outputs liquid piped into it. Yeah, that's right. I was thinking of using brine as a coolant before, uh, because it's most of its properties, it's kind of like a side grade from polluted water as a coolant. However, it doesn't off-gas polluted oxygen or anything. That's kind of a big advantage. Oh, there's that tiny brain I was talking about. Although, I guess it's actually like a normal-sized brain. If we look at that chair. Did I analyze this? No. Bioscan... We need to find a way to go... where was it? Over here as well. I mean, it's not difficult, but it'll let polluted oxygen in. I want to minimize that. Let's make sure this gets built. Before we completely flood our base with brine. Um, are we not? Oh, di did I not set this? Where do I? Oh, it's a pitch pump. What am I thinking? Um, I was looking for a bottle emptier. Should I just put it here? I don't think we're going to fit another machine in here. Oh, we'll probably fit one more machine in here. I might have to move the vent, but that's fine. So we got one, two, three, four tiles. Uh, yeah, we can always move it. I'll just put the bottle emptier here. Right, so we have plumbing, we have uh, chlorine to clean the water, although we do seem to be gradually gaining germs. I need to see what the peak is on the daily, or maybe what the minimum is. So probably a little bit before... Uh, lunchtime would probably be the best time. Once we hear that bell, I'll check how many germs are right here. Are we getting more chlorine? Yes, we are. Fantastic. I pretty much want probably as much chlorine as will fit in here at the pressure limit. Because I would imagine that would clean the germs faster. Alright, so we're looking for water and nothing else. 
and we're not seeing sweep only. Or are we seeing sweep only? No. Well, it's fine. I want to dig further... Well, everywhere, actually. Also, we should probably get the... AETN exposed. Did we get this analyzed? We did. Uh, let's see. Natural gas. 339.5 grams per second at 150 degrees, though. Do we have a natural gas generator yet? I want to see the stats on it. Power. Natural gas generator. Let's get that done. And we're going to need plastic at some point. Uh, what are our other stats here? Next activity, 64 cycles. Period is 60 cycles. Every 128. For 375 out of 678 cycles. So it's about... It's, a, it's active a bit more than half the time. How many seconds in a cycle? Three hundred and thirty-nine point five grams a second. Eighty-seven grams per second overall. That seems pretty decent. We will need to set something up to delete heat before we can consistently take advantage of that. Um, which means we need, I think it's two hundred kilograms of plastic. So we can get our first steam engine. Uh, we need steel so that we can get a... Uh, what is it called? We don't have it yet. Yes, we do. Thermo aqua tuna that is not going to melt. So we're going to have to produce quite a lot of heat before we can get rid of heat. Uh, Thermo Aqua Tuna cools fluid that goes through it, gets extremely hot, flashes water to steam that's around it, and then we run a steam engine, which straight up effectively turns heat into electricity. The electricity, for some reason, uh, doesn't generate any, like, waste heat or anything. So that's how we cool the place. Where am I going to put power plants? Like, some coal plants temporarily. Oh yeah, I do remember thinking about this. We're going to have, like... We're just going to have to put our transformers in the rooms. Unless I wanted the main artery of the base to be significantly wider. This area is quite cool, actually. We should do some more farming here. We're already at 90,000 calories, though. We're way ahead. So in that case... Let's get a deodorizer up here. I would like to break into this spot so that we can expand this farm a bit. Getting a little distracted. Um, carbon skimmer... Don't really have a good spot for it. It's got nothing to do with the oxygen we're pumping in here. Oh, I didn't set this up. Deliver suit. There we go. We're using this water for carbon skimming. Oh, it outputs polluted water? We're just dumping it over here. We could stop doing that at this point. Um, why don't 
we I think I would like to have water up where the ladder is and polluted water behind the fire pole that might become our rule so this would go up here if we have a pipe like this we'll have a bridge like this that should be fine and I'll just delete that pipe. I want to move the carbon skimmer in a little bit-ish, but that'll do for now. Actually, now that I think of it, if I wanted to incorporate this polluted water into the base... Well, let's wait for the germ count to go down, if that's going to happen first. We're down to 67,600 in the middle of the base, that is. Uh, in the middle of the water reservoir. Now we're continuously supplying a little bit of polluted water. So we're not going to see how low it was getting before. It does seem to be slowing down. When we ran the experiments in Sandbox, the uh, chlorine got rid of all of the germs. But here it seems to be reaching an equilibrium, sort of. Maybe we just don't have enough chlorine yet. Can they already get through that? I don't think so. Actually, maybe. How did you have your test set up? I just filled a... like a box with polluted water and chlorine. Probably the maximum gas pressure for chlorine. Alright, we have oil refinery... petroleum generator, natural gas generator. Okay. 90 grams per second. That's less than expected. That's actually really good. It's a lot of heat, though. And that's to say nothing of the heat that comes out of the uh, geyser to begin with. I mean, we'll be able to delete heat once we get the steam engine going, but until we do, I don't think we can afford to exploit this. We're just going to cook ourselves to death. Um, should we maybe keep heading upward? See if we can find some space. I don't want to break into where that salt water is. Let's see if we get a, a nice clean line where our main artery is. Or eventually. That's going to be a problem, but we can deal with it. It looks like the answer is yes. Um, I would like to perhaps line this up for later. And... I think they can climb to it once, right? Like this. I don't really want to expose them to slime. That's uh, ju that's just algae. That's slime. Okay. Let's see if they can't dig their way up there. And we need to go deeper to find oil as well. Have we not bioscanned this yet? 
Current state locked. Oh, that's coal. That's some very purple looking coal. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. Copper volcano outputs at two, twenty-two hundred, two 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 point, uh, two 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 six point nine degrees Celsius. That's a little hot. For now, care package, salt water, amazing. I think we have enough of that. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna just reject all here, especially since we don't have a fluid receptacle to take whatever comes out of the printing pod. Um, where should we dig through? Maybe this way? I definitely want that weasel wart. Oh, sorry, weasel wart. Why is there polluted oxygen in here? And this weasel wart as well. It does require fertilization, but it is by far one of the, well, probably the only way early game we have to delete heat. Okay, I have to test this. Because it would be way too convenient if the desalinator works underwater. We can just put it where the cool brine is. I would be somewhat surprised if it does work while underwater. Still pumping up chlorine. Fantastic. I think the way I've set this up, we're going to have more and more trouble getting the chlorine from over here, though. Because we're not creating a vacuum, we're outputting anything that isn't chlorine here. Still, we're up to 660 grams per tile. Where, once again, it's 72,000 germs. Did we just have in a time? That would be a no. Oh, it's only going to get worse. That's not encouraging. We can get germ detectors, right? Um, eventually. Oh, we're still researching polymer press. Let's leave that going for now. Maybe I should pump the polluted water to a separate storage until... Well, I don't think it's losing any germs while it is polluted water, right? So what? We pump the clean water from the CF? or not clean, but not polluted at least, from the CF to its own storage area, and then what? Don't pump it out until the germ count drops enough? But we're just gonna like bottleneck we do that. And we, we don't want to be bottlenecking with our output of polluted water. That could cause problems. No power connected, no liquid intake. Water based. Water based? Oh, right. No liquid output. It's not complaining that it's flooded? Uh, okay. In that case... What if, hypothetically, is that water? That's water. 
power. Um, I guess we could do it through here. Might be a bit easier for the dupes to build it that way. This thing's entombed. If the desalinator just works underwater, then we're going to be able to take advantage of this cool fluid that it's using as its input um, in order to cool it. And if we come out ahead on heat, all the better. also free up room for whatever I might want to put up here. What is that? Insufficient resources? Why are you trying to make it out of iron? I really wish they wouldn't do that. Oh, there's no copper? Jeez. Okay. I'm My bad. But if, if they're gonna, like, not let you plan... A coal generator because there's no metal right now. I wish they wouldn't let you plan something and then tell you there's no resources available. Let's jump over here to get this copper. And where else are we going? The metal. There's some down here. I know there's a bunch of iron over here. And... That's a bit more trouble than it's worth right now. That's a chunk of iron. Wasn't there a big blotch of it somewhere? I should probably be using materials overlay or something. That's iron. Give me that copper. Give me that copper. Wait, is that going to dig us into polluted oxygen? No, oh, fine. Gold amalgam. We're going to want that at some point. Discount high temperature resistance. Uh, what's this? Fertilizer and copper. And algae. Give us some of that. I think that'll have to do for now. I could deconstruct the desalinator that we've got up here. But I have a feeling this... Like, maybe we connect power and then it says it's flooded. Also, some copper down here. What did we just research? Oil well and polymer press. Fantastic. I never did finish researching ranching. Should probably get that done before we actually need it. We don't actually have a way to get there, do we? That would probably help. As long as I'm digging over this way, we might as well head for that security door. No, wait, I think it doesn't actually go anywhere. 
Yeah, I don't think there's anything interesting on the other side of that one. Let's have a peek down here when we get there. Oh, hello. Unknown. And also we have to dig through a bunch of iron to get there. Let's leave the Abyssalite if we can. Oh, we're, we already have a tunnel that's on the way there. Let's go. I mean, we've planned out a tunnel. Which is exactly the same thing when you think about it wrong. Alright. Power. We have lots of copper now. Fantastic. I wasn't going to use that circuit, was I? It's going to get overloaded. I think this one is overloaded. No, it's not. Wait, which one am I? Yeah, no, that's right. Let's go through here. Um, should I move this pump already? What am I looking for? Gas? Yeah, there's not a whole lot of chlorine in here. So we're kind of wasting energy. I mean, we are wasting energy, actually. Why don't we put this over here? And... I think we don't even have to remove the first pump if we do it this way. Because... If we've got gas coming in like this, this gas will get prioritized and block this one. And then we can just remove this gas pump in a little while anyway. We will, of course, have to run wire even further. Okay, I'm probably queuing up too many things at once now, so why don't we wait a little while? 111,000 calories is good to see. Best view in the game. The uh, materials overlay. Yeah, it's very versatile. As far as I know, the other overlays don't have anything like this. I guess temperature, temperature tolerance... And state change. That's interesting. Uh, power overlay has nothing of the sort. I don't know how it could. Oxygen overlay has no options. You'd think we could probably see the polluted oxygen better or something. There is polluted oxygen around, isn't there? In here. Yeah, it just shows polluted oxygen as very breathable. Uh, light overlay I don't think needs anything added. Plumbing overlay is, of course, pretty good, I guess. Now that I've got that mod for Factorio to compare it to that shows all the pipes... Uh, I think this could be a little better, actually. Ventilation overlay. I don't know how you'd improve that. Decor. Probably about the same. Germs. Oh, what's this? Oh, disinfect at. Never mind. Farming... Oh, that's a, that's actually really helpful. I should have... I never noticed this. Well, all of our food is growing. That's good. And then we have room overlay. How's our tunnel coming along? 
It's coming. Printing time. Uh, do we want a Dreklet? Where are we going to put? Probably up here. Temperature's fine. I think I do want this space to be just storage. And then we could maybe have just a super low ceiling for that. Which means we're going to move and change these ones. I should have done the farms without the extra ceiling space. Then again, what if we want to add lights or something? Is that a problem? Whatever, it's fine. Um, let's do... We do want to have extra ceiling space for uh, for ranching because the tile space counts for how many uh, creatures we can have in a place before they get upset. Um, let's see, room overlay. Stable. Maximum 96 tiles. Okay, so this right here is 96 tiles. Let's maybe put some doors in like so. Oh, is this done? Is this... has it been working? I don't have to set a recipe or anything like that. Uh, it is working. Oh, wow. Uh, yes, please. That's actually fantastic. We can obviously move this somewhere a bit more deliberate and well-built a bit later. But we're using the low temperature of the cool salt slush geyser to control the heat of the desalinator. Um, we need to hurry up and get a temperature sensor. Where even is it? Temperature? Sensor? No. What is it called? Well, I should probably just look under computers. Um, gas element. Timer. I have a feeling some of the sensors are going to be in different places. Uh, mostly because I remember things like that. Gas pipe thermo sensor. What do we want to know? Just kind of a general... Oh, do we have it already? No, there it is. Thermo sensor. Let's get that. Are we still researching right now? We are one research away. I'm finishing whatever it was we're researching. Uh, ranching, actually. Alright, so we'll get ranching done, uh, and then we'll head for researching the thermo sensor so that I can set this up. I guess we need refined metal as well. But I want to set this up so it won't overheat. Uh, I don't know how likely that is as things are, but... It'll happen eventually, question mark? Or are we net losing heat by dropping old brine onto it? Thermo, indeed. All right, um, are we printing anything? Oh yeah, we were trying to figure out if we want the draclet, which I think we do. So we're gonna do, um... We're gonna do some ranching here.
110,000 calories, fantastic. How much, uh... Oh, that's right, I was gonna build this gas pump. It's still being built. We're still getting chlorine out of this one, so I don't want to get rid of it just yet. It's not terribly efficient, though. What happened to those, um... Uh-oh. No, they got out. The vols got out. Oh, rip. I guess our airlock system, our manual airlock walls didn't do the trick. I wonder how they did get out. Were they let out or could they just go straight past the manual airlocks? Because if they can go past airlocks, how do we keep them in? I think it might be specifically mesh doors that stop critters, not airlocks. That's weird. Output pipe for- oh, right. That's fine. We've got a little bit of a queue for polluted water here, but... Oh, this has no power right now, that's probably why. Do I need to increase the priority for that? Possibly... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. I don't want our water CF unpowered. I just don't mess with them until I have steel. If I see them as a printing pot option, they're just barbecue or omelets. Yeah, I wanted to see... I wanted to run this experiment and see if we could contain them without any metal tiles. Alright, crit a drop-off. Um, what was that research I was going for? Temperature... Thermosensor. There we go. May as well head for the soda fountain. And we want... Do we not have a grooming station? No, we do. It's not under food. Stations, creaming station. There we go. And... Critter feeder. That should be fine. But now that I remember it, don't we need to give Draco's, like, mealwood off the tree. Good thing we built this in a relatively cool place. Containing them generally depends on the material's hardness, but they gave special treatment to mesh doors so dupes could actually enter. Unfortunately, I think they only did it for normal mesh doors. Normal mesh doors? Are there? Is there another kind? Hey, when did we get Wolframite? Who knows? How have we still not done this bioscan? 
I guess I can crank the priority. How much iron do we have now? Uh, we got a Merc Leaf Seed. That was probably just from digging stuff up. Iron ore, 7.3 tons. Can I do just all of the metals? I guess not until we've discovered them. And I can see why they would do that. You don't necessarily want the Dwarf Fortress experience of scrolling through 700 things you don't recognize at the beginning of your first playthrough. Let's sweep this up. Could I have a mixture of critters in this place? Or... I could. But I don't think I should... Why don't we do a couple of critter things on top of each other? Oh, and this should probably go up here as well. Uh, gotta watch out for that sand. It's gonna it's gonna block something again. You can mix critters in the stable, but some of them have different space requirements. I see. We don't actually need a critter feeder for um, for dracos because they only eat straight off the tree. Can I search? No, I can't. Draco, Draclet. Uh, and this is going to be... There's so many mealwood seeds. And I'm sure that's going to be overkill. That's fine. Or is it? We do spend dirt and nothing else. Mealwood. How do I get infinite dirt? Don't want the polluted oxygen. Uh, we should probably finish... We don't have any polluted oxygen here, do we? No, we're good. As far as I can tell. Let's move those deodorizers. Space is looking a lot more organized than my first one. Requires emptying. Why is no one emptying it? Probably because I didn't make it a high enough priority. What's the temperature like here? 16 degrees. Fantastic. So, we can probably do without the liquid filter at this point. No, there's like water up here. I'm sad that we'll have to have a little detour around the salt slush guys are here. But by the time we're building up here, who cares? We'll just have to have a bit of ladder on the right instead of fire pole. 
So I'm thinking maybe... I don't actually have a place to drop off polluted water. Oh, yes I do. It's already set up. So if we put a pump in here... There's no need to do that yet. But I'm thinking we dig into this and we just mop up the polluted water. We can make this stretch out so that we spread out the polluted water so that we can mop it up. Uh, and once that's gone, we can set up a container so that this will spill out to the left. I guess we're going to get some slime. Uh, I should probably just dig up the slime, right? Now that I think of it, we've got the underwater storages for them. You could also use a pitcher pump, that's true. Hatches require 12 space per critter, but puffs require 16. If you tried putting both in the same branch, you'd have issues. Indeed. You wouldn't get the most out of the space. I love that we've got this uh, nature reserve that takes up so little space. It's neatly with our base. time digging that just yet. I've queued up too many things in too, too many places. Oh, this is surprisingly hot. Supercomputer. It's almost 30 degrees. There's no way the game would let me build, like, a door on top of the geyser, right? Uh, what do we have here? Farm lily seed? Why not? Alright, so we should be able to mop this up now? No, not even. Uh, that complicates things a little bit. Maybe we will pitch a pump it? And I'll set this to enable auto bottle. I think we've got enough brine from for the moment. When is this going to stop? Maybe I'll regret it if I stop it. Next dormancy, 36 cycles. And we get like 60 something of inactivity. Um... Well, this isn't... This is going to take a while to fill up, if that's what's going to happen. So it's not an emergency. I should probably hurry up and put a deodorizer up here somewhere. We've actually got polluted oxygen all the way down here as well. So... They only consume when they need to. Electricity, that is. 
just do it like this. And I think we've got plenty of power left on this wire. Why can't I zoom in when I do that? Alright, let's just go up the ladder. Fantastic. I might prioritize that actually. Just a little bit. And we want to copy settings for all of these. One more. Why is a hatch in here? And it's been groomed. What? Did it just happen to be in here, but now... Now it's our pet? It's got... it's got a tag on it. This was supposed to be for the Dracos. That's quite a lot of polluted oxygen in there as well. Let's do this while it only has one way out. And prio six. All right, how's our copper? Four tons. Coal is at twenty three. Six gold amalgam. 7.5 iron ore, and half a ton of wolframite. Still lots and lots of algae, no stress there. There might have been a buried hatch in the ground you clear up inside the room, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll just leave this uh, sand in the way until we clear out this polluted oxygen. We've got a bit of waiting to do. What's the temperature of this water? 62 at the lowest. Alright, I think I'm going to drop the priority on this generator for now, since we're not getting a whole lot of efficiency out of that. Might be time to move this water. In which case I should use that generator. Whatever. What do we have here? Insulated tile. Shearing station. Oh. I forgot to leave room for that. We need three tiles. I think we have way more than enough uh, mealwood here. Or the Dracos that we're going to have. Uh, and this is going to be hatches. Uh, and we will need a feeding station for the hatches. Where is it? Stations? No. Food? Critter? No. Critter feeder. Here we go. Well, that got the hatch out of that room. Uh, let's see... What was I trying to build? I've never actually used ice to, uh, to cool the base. Oh, 
Okay, what was I looking for? Uh, food. No, stations, shearing station. There we go. Oh nice, he's able to just build all of that without moving. Not the shearing station though. Copy settings. And the deodorizer didn't get anything. Doesn't look like we need this one in particular. But I'll leave it there just in case. It's not like it'll consume electricity if it's not doing anything. How's our polluted water? It is backing up more than I would like to see. Um, did I not prioritize? I did. Priority 8. Alright, let's get one of these set to a high threshold. That might help. Actually, maybe I should just make these priority 9. Because we can't be having the water CF not run. It doesn't need to run that much overall. We're probably losing more power to just the battery drain. But we need to make sure it's done. Alright, so we can definitely get rid of this desalinator. Um, I kind of need to get the contents, the brine, in these pipes out of there. I can't use a liquid bridge across here. I could loop this around. And then remove that tile. Whoa, not like that. Or even just put it straight back in here. It's only a small amount we need to get rid of. I don't care that much if it goes through the liquid filter again. Do we have any ranches? I'm sure we do. Critter ranching too, yeah. Carenza, did I not set your priorities? You've got ranching and farming. Uh, have I not set this correctly? Drekkers. Next 20 critters. Uh, does it tell us somewhere... How many we can support? I know it does, but I don't remember where, or if we have to have Dracos here before it'll say so. We have to decide what we're feeding our hatches. What do we have the most of? I've given them sandstone before, and then actually one day ran out of the sandstone. We've got an overabundance of, like, meal lice. That's another way to say they're slowly consuming dirt. Is that a problem? Do I want to not feed them actual food? Or, like, duplicate food? Uh, if only because of what they can evolve into? How much do they eat? 140 kilograms a cycle. It could be sand, sandstone, clay, rushed rock, dirt. I imagine it's less dirt if we feed them, like, meal lice, for example. 700,000 calories a cycle of meal lice. Uh, 
10 kilograms a cycle. How much do we get? Wait, so 10 kilograms a cycle of dirt. Life cycle 12. And how much do we get per harvest? 600 calories? So is that... Uh, what's 600 over 12? 50 calories per day? So we would need how many? It was 750, wasn't it? Seven, yeah, 700. So 14... We would need, I think, 14 uh, plants to support one hatch, which means it'd be like 140 kilos of dirt per day, which means I think we would save compared to feeding them dirt directly. No, it's the same. Okay, so that, that would just be a waste of labor. Um, oh, here we go. That's all the same information. Where do we look for the percentages of... They might evolve into something else. Here it is. Alright, sage hatch... Feed them dirt if we want sage hatches. Sedimentary rock if we want stone hatches. How much sedimentary rock do we have? Seventeen point seven tons. Am I in the habit of using sedimentary rock for anything else? It's igneous rock that I use for insulation. Sedimentary rock is thermally reactive, but so is other things. Okay, not that many other things. Not for insulated tiles anyway. Not that we would want thermally reactive insulated tiles. Um, lots of metals are thermally reactive. Let's try feeding them sedimentary rock. Giving them sedimentary rock is probably the best. That way they turn into stone hatches and you can give them all kinds of rocks. You get more coal per rock too, Pog. All right, let's try this. I also want to know what a sage hatch is. I'll remind myself. Oh, it consumes slime, algae, dirt, fertilizer. I don't think we want a sage hatch, do we? Maybe there's some better coal factories when you get things up and going with a sage hatch. Alright, let's stick with the sed uh, sedentary rock. Set blah, words. Uh, hatch. Sedimentary rock. Fantastic. Wait, this thing has a name? Critter feeder. Uh, stone hatch feeder. Was amazing. Sage hatches consume different type of organic stuff, but most of what they consume, you actually want to stockpile. It's not really worth it. Yeah, that's that was the first impression that I got glancing over all of that. Yucky lungs. Oh no. And 
and get out of here, old desalinator. Alright, so now that is going over there. We want to get rid of this liquid pipe in particular. Actually, can we just do that right away? Because I want to see it. There we go. So now our brine is getting emptied from that pipe. And we'll be able to get rid of it soon. Maybe not that much just yet. Okay. Nope. Wait, no, that's fine. It's not the pump that's going to get deconstructed. Get rid of that old spaghetti. Temperature here is still lovely. CO2... Oh, oxygen is not so good. Um... Hmm. We've actually got a lot of reed fiber lying around. Actually, how much do we have? 26 units, is that... I think that probably is kind of a lot. Especially considering we're putting in no labor for it. No resources of any kind, actually. One nice thing about them is they consume polluted dirt, but you probably don't produce enough of it to feed a ranch. Okay. Oh, we need power for this. It's only 60 watts. That's good. Did we build this? No. Let's just... Maybe get rid of this already. There's practically... No, there's actually no chlorine making its way over here now. Let's deconstruct that. Can we mop this now? Yeah, we can. I'd like to get automation before I do it, but I was... I could probably start building the cooling loop with the cool salt slush geyser already. But I need to think about... I guess this pipe could go straight up, actually. I don't think I want it to. Whatever, it's fine. Deconstruct that one. So that I can have bridges across here. If I don't have any automation logic, Theoretically, things could get too cold in here, although I seriously doubt that could actually happen. If we pump all the slush through... Maybe it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a loop. Actually, it doesn't make sense for it to be a loop yet. So we, we pump it through the base, and then we bring it back to wherever we want. Uh, for a reservoir. And we don't even... Our automation could be circuitless. We could have a liquid vent outputting... I guess that would add another pump that we need to have to make this work. I could instead just pump all of the brine directly straight into the desalinator. 
instead of having a like a reservoir of it. That might make a lot more sense. Pipsqueak. I don't see why not. So maybe ultimately, uh, ultimately we could have put the desalinator here in the end anyway. But I feel like this area is going to have a tendency to get a little warmer anyway because of the water CF. Let's delete... Actually, let's wait until that's empty. For that water there. No, I wanted the, uh, I wanted the desalinator immersed in the brine so that it'll be nice and cool. We could do it up here. Have it all in one place, why not? Can't actually see where this goes. Um, I don't really want to break in here just yet. I would like to have a larger reservoir of this stuff, though. These are going to have to be ladders. We should... Pr uh, I don't want to get rid of the deodorizers yet. But we should probably have... no way straight in here because we don't want the dupes emptying fluid down here. I don't actually want that built yet. And dig this away, I guess. up and get rid of this um, polluted water that's creating polluted oxygen. That might be nice. And then actually dig this down here. Where should this go? I don't like how the graphics glitches out like that. Okay. This doesn't require duplicate operation except for removing the salt. I definitely want it at the bottom so that it's always immersed. What are we making it out of? No, I don't want it out of gold amalgam. We're saving that for things that get hot. Yeah, I think that's probably the most sensible spot for it. And maybe like this. Actually, why don't we go up a tile so it's in line with the other the other room. We don't necessarily need that much storage, do we? Alright, so we're going to have an inlet pump. Uh, probably... That never needs maintenance, does it? Do we need a filter? I want to set this up so we, that we never need a filter. But realistically, something always finds its way in there eventually. I 
hate how it adds like 50% on top of the cost of running this thing. Where would I even dump whatever that doesn't belong? Uh, we're just gonna hope that we don't need to filter it this time. And then... pipes. Uh, definitely not insulated. Doesn't need to be radiate, uh, radiant either. We're just gonna equalize gradually the temperature with the rest of the base. Slow heating? I don't think so. Sedimentary rock thermally reactive? We have a little bit of obsidian for some reason. So how much is this? 100 per tile. We can do 100... 111 tiles. That's actually not that much, I don't think. Since we need to loop it through the entire base. Where do we get more of this? Sedimentary rock. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't look like I can filter it. Cultivatable soil doesn't include sent uh, sedimentary rock, does it? Surely not. We got clay, we got dirt, we got fertilizer. Phosphorite. Organic? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure no. Consumable. I don't think it counts as ore. Bleach stone, coal, or bleach stones. What is this? What a weird shape. Filtration medium. Sand, 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 and furthermore, sand. It's literally just sand. Uh, mineral? Oh, here we go. Sedimentary rock. Fantastic. So what does sed uh, sedimentary rock look like, exactly? It's very grey, maybe slightly bluish and rocky. That's igneous rock. Looks almost the same. Uh, where are we going to get a bunch more of it, just to be sure? Well, for starters... up here. How much of it is this? Uh, that is seven tiles, uh, 17 tiles rather. All right, I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble using sedimentary rock for the rest of this. All right. So how am I going to lay this out? If I end up putting a room up here, this is going to be a bit awkward. Whatever, let's just do it like this for now and we can probably mess with it later. What's the worst that could happen? How much are we down to already? Oh, let me maybe put it behind the walls. There's only 4.6k left. We need a bridge. Uh, probably through here. And then... Like that. Uh, 
Uh, I think we've run out. What? It's doing it out of granite now. Properties, sedimentary rock. Okay. We'll dig up some more sedimentary rock, I think. And that should keep most of the base fairly cool. And then we'll come back here and pump it straight into the desalinator. Uh, and we'll pump the water straight into the reservoirs. Didn't see what that message was about. Oh, don't tell me. We were slowly suffocating it because once again that manual generator was um, entombed. Where's the message history log kept? Is there one? Speaking of things like this, uh, research. Oh, we are researching. We're researching the thermo sensor still. All right, can we maybe put some deodorizers out ahead of time? And we'll dig in here so we can get sedimentary rock. Still got an amount of copper. What was this getting upset about? Oh, the oxygen, probably. I really need to move that manual generator. Why don't we just put it up here for now? Where there's all this lovely polluted oxygen. Let's fix that as well. Oh, that's actually chlorine. I don't think there is any polluted oxygen here. Never mind. Damn it. We're needing quite a lot of oxygen pumped into this thing. Compared to what we're getting. Building lights. No, we're fine. It's just chlorine all over the place. Unfortunate. Might be worth some putting something over the generators. Uh, I'm just going to move it instead. In fact... Well, no, I'm not going to get rid of that until this is working. settings. There's no such thing. Okay. Oh, they don't have the means to put that wire there. Whoops. There 
There we go. Why have we not built this ladder? Too many jobs? Didn't prioritize? Uh... Oh, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Let's do this order. In that case. Can they even jump across that? Let's do one more ladder for the moment. I guess I could have just give one a move order to find out. This one. Maybe put a diffuser next to these two. There's already one over here, but... Well, I put it there for the same reason I'm putting this one over here. What was that? I missed it again. Awaiting delivery algae. I should always remember to max priority the oxygen diffusers. Which algae do we have? 17 and a half tons. Seems good. Probably about time to dig away all of this mess as well. Cycle 78 report ready. Fantastic. How do I... Wasn't there a handy place to see that? Oh, it's here. It's not so handy, actually. Whoops. Calories looking good. Calorie consumption well below. Average power. Average power wasted. Not great. Big dip in oxygen production recently. Alright. Can we not drop that hatch off? Oh, did I not mark it to be... It's glum. Why is it glum? Total happiness, negative one. Tame, negative one. What does that mean? Can I just wrangle it? Move it up here? Did we get that polluted oxygen? Not yet. Although, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of it on this side. Yeah, 
we're running out of polluted oxygen. That's good. Get that gold amalgam while you're there. Or don't. seed. Hell yes. I'll take one of those. Speaking of which, we still haven't dug... Okay, we've dug a little deeper here. Should I start thinking about electrolysis? It's a little early to worry about it. Let's just get one thing sorted at a time. That's one way to deliver dirt to the farms, I guess. Is the hatch happy now? Happiness 4, groomed plus 5, team minus 1. Well, I guess it I guess anything positive is not glum. Do we need to wrangle our Draco? I think so. And why don't we wrangle this hatch as well? So how many hatches can we have here? What does it tell us? I remember it was like in the properties or something for one of these buildings. Recall where? You know, I really don't need to wait for sedimentary rock to finish those pipes. Then again, it's not that much more expensive. Let's mop this up. Too much liquid. Uh, okay, let's dig in here, dig this out, and then we'll mop it up. Madrax, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. The farm stations are not necessary to grow crops. Uh, I know, it makes it more efficient though, right? What are our skills at? We've got quite a few skills to spend. Okay. Improved construction is a freebie. Uh, it'll still be plus three morale if this... Uh, if Cavern goes for building as well as digging. So I think we'll do that. And Evil Plot, Mechatronics Engineering, fantastic. Ben Wu, uh, I think we want to go for Exosuit Training. Oh, Evil Plot still has points. Improved Construction is free. Carenza has done everything. Renza is passionate about. I might just leave it at farming and ranching. We could do improved carrying, improved strength. Could 
couldn't hurt. I mean, it could if we get to the point where morale is a problem, but... Let's do this, I guess. Crop tending... Sure. We got a builder farmer in Matrim. Sloder has already learned the only thing that Sloder is passionate about. Um, do we want to add anything else? Athletics, maybe, so you get to the dig sites faster. But for that, I have to go through carrying. We'd still have plus five on morale if we go here. That's probably fine. And a Veldak. Grilling two, of course. And then... Medicine compounding, because you're the only one. Whiskers. Astronomy. Fantastic. We've got a Farmer Scientist. Uh, let's get Veldak's priorities straight. Veldak is also a doctor. If there's any doctoring to be done, we need it done right away. Doctoring and then cooking and then everything else, basically. That seems good. How much chlorine do we have in here now? 951 grams per tile? Uh, that seems pretty good, actually. I don't think we really need to worry about pumping in more. It won't benefit... Uh, it won't benefit us to bother to deconstruct this right now. Actually, come to think of it, if we're not putting gas into the gas filter, the same applies. It's not going to draw power. Veldak instantly recognizable with his chef's hat. What are you up to? Um... Cook, electric grill? What did you come and pick up? Carried item slime. If your job is cooking right now, what are you doing with slime? I guess this was just an off job. Okay. That air is looking a lot cleaner already. It's looking a lot thinner, actually, because we can't have polluted oxygen sharing a tile with oxygen. That's how that works, I think. I just got a thing for removing rocks. A thing for removing rocks. Oh, right, yes. What are we doing with this liquid bridge? How much? We got 153 more tiles of sedimentary rock now. Uh, for the pipes, that is. So let's run that through here. And especially through here. And I think that's probably enough. Unless our water supply is going to get heated up. I mean, if we're cooling this part, this will get cooled to some degree. I don't particularly want to have to sneak it back and back before we go back up here. Then again, if we add this room, it would be... Whatever. This is... Probably fine. Probably fine. 
I'm going to repeat it until I believe it. We got another 89 tiles. What's this? Um, am I going to need an output for the water? That can be whatever material. Sandstone. Can go in here. Water bridge. Fantastic. I think that'll just about do it. Now, can we get rid of this tile yet? No. If I disable this pump for a moment, um, we'll get rid of this water quite quickly. If someone would be so kind as to toggle that. I guess not. That's unfortunate because it means I'll have to pay attention to this for much longer. Alright, so the pump is off. As soon as someone uses the bathrooms. Who knows how long that's going to be. I don't want to just remove the water because it's going to spill out. It's the thing. Do we have a path to here? Unreachable dig. Oh, there's no ladder. That's why. I'm pretty sure they can dig down diagonally like that. Do you have anybody with plumbing? Yes. I think we've got one person with plumbing. Yep, exactly one person with plumbing. Geyser certainly sounds angry. Hey, Zakaluka. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is a silly question. Does the blind flare mean you're a blind person? <laughs> or that you're playing this game blind? It means I'm playing this game blind. Insofar as it's possible, I'm trying to get through without looking up how to do anything or anything like that. You could just mark those pipes for emptying then? Uh, but where is the water go going to go after they're emptied? That's the reason I don't do that. Alright, uh, what about power? It's going to need its own circuit, I think. Oxygen's looking quite good. Uh, since we've got our hatches right here, maybe coal generators up here would make sense. How would those fit? Very well, actually. Although that wouldn't include the batteries. I don't really want to use a coal generator until we have a smart battery, though. Because I'm pretty sure it will consume coal uh, gratuitously if we don't. So if a blind person plays a game for the first time, does double negative cancel each other out? I don't think that's how that works. Mazzle Fazzle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It makes a bottle? Oh. Let's see. Liquid pipe. Oh no, I need to use extract pipe contents. Uh... 
Unlocked for emptying. Probably need to crank up the priority. Or is it not the priority on the pipe, but is it a cleaning job? Duty? There we go. Alright, so... Errands. Beldak. Requires learned skill. Everyone requires learned skill. Except for Ben Wu, I suppose. And it... It just went from his number one job to his number ten. Why is that? Oh, there's that water consumption we're looking for anyway. I think it's about to be a moot point. Well, not as much as expected. Because this is getting prioritized. Okay. Well, there's no water in this pipe now. The emptying job requires a skill. Yeah, I know. That yawn, though. Alright, let's go... Empty this tile in particular. Priorities, duties, uh, emergency. Errands. Ben Wu is on the way. And... It does indeed make a bottle. Nice. Well, that makes it easier. Let's reactivate the pump. And mark these two for emptying. Uh, em extract pipe contents. Here we go. And deconstruct this. Deconstruct this. And we don't have to babysit it. Although, the sooner it gets done, the sooner I... Okay, there we go. I can plan this pipe here. Seems good. Alright, I can ignore that until it's done. Uh, I think we're ready to block this up. And now that I look at it... Oh. I could get rid of a couple of these tiles. So this thing sticking out doesn't take up quite so much space. And once that, once that is built, oh, printing time. Another Volpup. Give me the fungal spore, why not? What's the input for mushrooms? I'm pretty sure I remember them being worth going to the trouble of making. I can't actually see any, so we're gonna look it up. Or we could click on this. Nope, never mind. Uh, dusk cap, here we go. Carbon dioxide, it requires slime. But we turn slime into algae, which we turn into oxygen. Does it consume carbon dioxide? I don't think it does. Does it give us a lot of food? 7.5 cycles, 2400 calories. Or K calories. Um, as opposed to, I think it was 14. 2400 over 7.5. 
600 over 12. That is so much worse. Okay, so now the question is, where are we going to build our dusk cap farm? S. Jones, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doesn't consume CO2, indeed. Zavoxifol, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. I think fried mushrooms are like plus two morale or something as well. Okay, that's pretty good. I think I would like to set it up here, but there's sort of stuff in the way. Um... And I would like to actually seal it so that the CO2 stays in there this time. Although, unless I go to the trouble of the liquid uh, airlock. We could probably make this a bit smaller next time, but still. Unless I make the liquid airlock, it's not going to actually stay that way. I think we should just rely on gravity. To get our CO2 where it needs to be. To that end. I'd like to pump some of this water away, or I could dig this out so that there's so that the water goes down. Do we need at least four tiles or I was sort of hoping we could get away with three. If we have farm plots like this, and door comes in like this, could we actually have just like one tile of carbon dioxide? Would that count as far as the dust caps are concerned? That would be very convenient. I kind of want to try it. We don't really have CO2 here, though. How about over here? Um, well, this is three tiles. I kind of want to line it up with that. Wait, that would be two. You absolute dub. Okay. Um... Farm station would fit here. Door would be at the top instead of the bottom. Uh, we need to get rid of these ladders. Right. Go like that. Is that polluted oxygen? It is. Let's just do it like this for the moment. And if I'm going to go down here again, well, we can just go through here. Yeah, we're not going to be dropping this fluid down here again, so we don't have to worry about that. Also, we're not actually looking for tiles here, but rather farm tiles. Oh, I see. Do we have the sedimentary rock? Yeah, we do. Uh, let's bryo this a bit more. Building lacks resources. No, it doesn't. Can we get this moved so that I can... Thank you. And then remove all of this. Uh, 
Uh, before we do build the farm station... Oh, I guess we're gonna have to wait until oxygen makes its way here to find out. Alright, where's our dust cap? Fungal spore, there we go. I just got eaten by a pack of wolves. Unfortunate. How goes the game? Uh, relatively well. Certainly not without its speed bumps, but we are definitely more organized. More deliberate than last time. One tile is fine, yes. They don't exactly use CO2, they just need it present. Nice. Which means we don't have to have, like, some ladders above them for the dupes to not suffocate. Or just have a room full of CO2 that the dupes suffocate in. Uh, let's mop this up. Let's maybe put another deodorizer here. The oxygen is pushing the polluted oxygen away, sort of, so this deodorizer isn't removing it all. Why are we not powering this? There we go. Wait, that's a different power network. Where is the power source? Oh, it's right here. Obviously. settings fantastic well we can put this here now as well not to mention dig that out I think we'll have like a generator room up here, which eventually we'll put coal generators in, but for the moment we'll use manual generators and we'll get some nice centralized power. First I, first I have to get rid of this polluted water, not to mention the polluted oxygen. Um. I could just get started over here first. So I'm thinking, well, what's it going to look like in the end? We can do 20 kilowatts on one wire. If we were to fill it with coal generators. We could do eight. We're not going to do it because we need room for batteries, but then again, maybe we could put the batteries elsewhere. Probably not. Um, eight times 600 kilowatts. So 4,800 kilowatts. That's not even a quarter of what can go on the heavy watt wire. Uh, and I want to run heavy watt wire down our main artery here. Maybe down here as well. And we'll just have to make room for... Instead of making room for manual generators, we'll be making room for uh, transformers. Only when we actually need small wires. How much does this cost? A hundred as opposed to twenty-five of a basic metal. That's kind of a lot. We only have enough tiles. We have like forty-seven tiles of copper. Um, yeah, we can't exactly commit to filling the whole base, like finishing that project as is. 
We do have a few digs. Pla Why did water get in here? Oh no. That's... That's not where I want water to be. Uh... Well... Could we maybe... Move this pump? Probably about here. Stop digging this way, but I don't want to. Let's put a tile in the way. Until we get rid of most of the water. And then let this through. Right about here, pipe. Right about here. Wire. That follows the pipe, of course. I was thinking of piping the rest into our reservoir and if we need to use the carbon skimmer we can actually just take from the reservoir instead. Uh, so this pipe here has to go all the way over to the left unless... oh no this pipe is the same. Yeah let's let's do it that way. Seems good. Get all of that in storage. We've actually still got empty reservoirs behind all of this water. How's our germ count? Oh, a hundred thousand? Lorene, you're supposed to be removing the germs. Oh, that's not working at all. We went to all this trouble to bring in the chlorine to clean up the water, but it's just not working enough. I guess it's keeping us below maximum germs. So, there's that. Oh, this has already been done. Fantastic. You've misunderstood the chlorine trick. I mean, we did it in simulation. Do you want another suggestion to try cleaning up that pool? Does it involve bleach stones? Wait, it's down to 10,000... Oh, the water's at 115,000. The vent is at 10,000. Hmm. Shine bugs? Really? So what? Does even... I, I don't think there's a difference between different kinds of light in this game, right? So I'm guessing if we just put uh, what am I looking for? Or rather, under what category would it be? Don't tell me I haven't researched it. No, I'm sure I have. Here we go. Ceiling light. It's under decor, probably? Furniture. Here we go. 
We can't actually shine through the mesh tile. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. So the shine bug wouldn't work from here. It's not like I can put a ceiling... Oh, it is. It is like I can put a ceiling light here. Or maybe a lamp. I could move some of these storages. Is that going to work? It does produce heat, but what doesn't? I haven't just built lights? Yeah, well I'm thinking... There's probably nothing special about the shine bug light, right? The lamp is actually less wattage the larger coverage. Let's try it. Science ho. Deconstruct the uh, storage bin. Put in a lamp. And power it. Oh, it's flooded. Never mind. What if we put in ceiling light? We're not going to get as much uh, coverage out of it, of course. But we could definitely run a little experiment. I wonder why the um, job I just issued got priority. Germ count is 110,000. It's dropping, but just because it's dropping right now doesn't mean... Yeah, we've actually got no light at the moment. Oh, there it goes. I think it's working. No, I'm pretty sure it's not making any difference. Germs flow so you don't have to irradiate the whole area. Alright, well, let's give it some time. If we find significantly less than 100k germs here later on, uh, enough to enough that it's not like the variance over the course of a day or something, we'll see if that doesn't help. Oh, I did not mean to order coal generators up here. Uh, so we could theoretically fit eight coal generators. Um. We are going to need a heavy watt plate, like so. Heavy watt wire, I think we want to have that go down the middle, probably. Definitely, actually. And... How many batteries are we going to need? Like, for the whole base. Or at least a large segment of it. The jumbo batteries... Well, I'm looking for batteries under here so that I can check something. Wait, no, we've already got it unlocked, right? You just can't build it yet? No, I don't see it. Battery. Why can't I zoom out? Here we go. Smart battery. 
I guess I have to research that before I can check the specs. Um, I know it's... The smart battery has by far the lowest power leak, but I don't remember how much more capacity it has. If it was super high, I'd probably try getting away with just one battery. Well, actually, if we're running off of coal, that automatically shuts off based on the battery, that might be feasible. So that we have the minimum possible amount of power leak. So let's say we do just have the one battery. If I leave room for any more, I'm leaving room for three more because of our three and two multipliers. I think we should leave room for three. Three is probably plenty. And then we could fit like six coal generators. Do we need this ceiling to be this high? Probably not. I know there's a station that we eventually get. Power control station. Um, I had a look at that. It doesn't seem worth the effort, and it's also far away. But I think that would need four tiles of height. Increase the power output of generators. I guess that would make it more coal efficient as well. A necessary component of the power plant room. I don't suppose we gain anything just by it being considered a power plant room. Oh, and I don't actually want to build these, do I? Maybe. Well, at least one. Why is our Draco here? Or is that a wild one? Look at the radiation overlay. Uh, there is no radiation overlay. Don't have the, uh... The DLC. Hello. Uh, Gabis. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How, how's our germ count? 120,000. So not great, actually. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, without DLC, no cleaning from radiation. I see. So that would include the lights. Alright, let's get rid of the lights then. And we can put one of these storage containers back. Oxygen is looking fantastic. Oh, what are we? What can we see up here? Neutronium. Nice. Let's find out what's over there, shall we? And get rid of the slime, so that we don't get slime lung. Hinting time. Uh, eggs? Why not? Dirt? Dirt is actually food with extra steps. So... I mean, it's half a ton and we've got 160. This is food with fewer steps, though. Wait, I think we need an... Oh, we do have an egg cracker. Fantastic. What kind of eggs did we get here? Pufflet eggs. Times one, two, three. There 
Fantastic. Still a lot of jobs queued up. I think I want to get our power plant stuff sorted out before... Oh, that's right. I said I was going to use manual generators for now. I'll put these two where the batteries are going to be later. And... Three of those in place of two coal generators. And we need heavy what wire. We need to mine up a bunch more metal. Not seeing any new biomes down here just yet. Oh, we still haven't dug deeper. So there's that. Now that I think about it, if you leave the wheezewort alone, the cold biomes really do delete heat. As long as the wheezewort is still there, that is, for free, forever. Ooh, what's this? One, two, three, four lockers. We got thermo sensor, but we don't have any refined metal yet. Thermo regulator pulls the gas piped through it. But outputs heat in its immediate vicinity. This is the gas version of the aqua tuna. Uh, sure. What did we just finish researching? Not this. I'd really like to dig down deep enough to get lead. So that we can get a little bit of effortless uh, refined metal. Who came down here just now? Oh, they've already left. Okay. It's coming along relatively smoothly, if a bit slowly. How are our skills? We got Ben Wu. Suit sustainability training seems good. Exosuit still gonna have uh, five morale left over. Very, very good. Matrim improved farming too. Fantastic. Nothing but art left. Bedside manner for Velda. Whiskers has learned everything Whiskers is passionate about. We've still got like seven morale left over at the moment. So maybe a bit of carrying strength, maybe athletics. Why not? What are you up to? They keep coming here for building materials and I saw, I think it was slime, if not algae, earlier. That's a lot of polluted oxygen. Let's do something about it. 
Why do I not see any uh, deodorizers I can copy? Wire goes here. I think I'd like to edit all of these farms so that they use up less vertical space. It's going to be a bit of a task, but we're way ahead on calories now. 191,000. I'll wait till we're not trying to do any other building projects. We still don't... We still haven't used any of the liquid reservoirs. But I haven't finished rebuilding this yet. What is up with... Oh, this water is going this way. I see. Alright. Does that mean it won't go past this to go over here? Let's priority this so we can find out. The pump actually got built already. Quite a lot of oxygen now. Why is this not... Oh, no seed available. Okay. Emma Gibb, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Should probably. Alright, it doesn't look like this deodorizer's got a whole lot left to do. Not where. Not in the position that it's in. So we should probably think about a door here. Do I not have an airlock up here at all? It's a little bit surprising. I think I do want the oxygen to keep creeping up here though. So that it remains easy to get up there. I don't think this needs to be an airlock. But maybe something right about here. And... Probably something like this. I don't feel an urgent need to keep this insulated, but there's no reason to get rid of abyssalite. And we should be able to replace those. Dupes should still be able to get up there. Oxygen is fantastic right now. What are we researching? Sound amplifiers. Why is the research that gives us the best battery called sound amplifiers? IT hacks, you've been showing up on my suggested channels list and I like the games you play. Uh, thank you. 
Glad to have you both. Are we going to get these two built now? Fantastic. Good job, cabin. Alright, so we finally get this water out of our way and into our reservoir. But, as expected, the pipe system here doesn't quite work that way. So, what I might do is deconstruct this one. And then we'll put a water bridge. And then connect this like so. And then that should behave about the way that I had in mind to begin with. I, what I didn't have in mind was losing water down here though. Can we prio this? I definitely want to see this water moved out of the way as soon as possible. So we can get in the juicy, unknown areas. That's a lot of iron. Might be worth digging over to that. How much have we got? Gold amalgam, 8.4 tons. Iron ore, a little bit behind that. Wolframite is still half a ton. Copper is very, very low. Um, I don't want to let that hydrogen out, though. Don't want to dig through too much of the abyssalite either. That's also a big chunk of iron. I'm resisting the temptation to queue up even more orders. There's just too much that needs to get done right now. They can't actually get here, so it doesn't count. What is that, I wonder? It's a seed. Printing time. Uh, hatchling eggs? Why not? We've already got a few hatchlings running around now, actually. Ooh, sage... Oh, sage hatchling. That's the one that we discussed and said it wasn't that good. That's a little bit unfortunate. Should we eat it? Sage, patch, dirt, slime, algae, fertilizer, polluted dirt. It's really the only thing I want them to eat. How much polluted dirt do we have? Uh... 4.3 tons? Just having the one of them is probably fine, but if it reproduces... Can I tell the uh, duplicants not to harvest these? Oh, disable harvest. There we go. This is probably way too many, but it's fine. We'll just find a balance. Oh, it's been sheared. I didn't even get to see it. And we get reed fiber. I could have I could have just got reed fiber from down here though. Just a little bit of a walk instead.
Oh, I don't have... My dupes don't have a way across here to get the iron. Probably do something about that. Might want to sweep the ranch so they don't eat weird stuff. Yeah, that is my bad. I don't know. I think we... I think we don't want to sage hatch right now. TBH. So let's make an omelette. Even if I had figured out automating population control, um, I don't want to build a room for just one sage hatch. Uh, I need to confirm that this pump will work. Drecklet to gro uh, glossy drecklet is what you'd go for. I remember we got those before. I don't remember exactly what they did. I was thinking about that a little. Glossy Dreco. Oh, you feed the mealwood. Or is that just... They make phosphate. Okay, what does a regular Dreco... Reed fiber. No? Oh, they give us phosphate regardless? Ten kilograms a cycle, nine kilograms a cycle. We get less out of the glossy Draco, but let me guess. Uh, it's not telling me here, but we get something different from shearing them. Alright, well I guess we'll just keep things going as they are. Plastic on shearing. Okay, that's pretty good. Getting our first plastic without getting oil going, that would actually be huge. Never mind just the ease of getting it, it also means we don't have to produce a whole bunch of heat and pollution and stuff. Shearing is the prize, indeed. Do we need this deodorizer now? Probably not. Maybe I should... I think I will. Gotta go to the trouble of building a couple of deodorizers all the way up here. How did we get shine bugs up here, I wonder? The more chance Drecklet's spend in hydrogen? The more time? I see. It can actually be difficult to retrain normal Drecos, because they turn glossy with mealwood, and the other plants they eat are much more annoying to farm. Well, we've got an infinite supply of reed fiber just spawning without us doing anything here, so I think we're fine. Yeah, I think it's fine if we end up with nothing but glossies. Why is this not getting powered? Priority 9 generator idle. Is everyone eating? Everyone's eating. Okay. Dracos don't grow their mane unless they sit in hydrogen. Then... How did this first one get shaved? 
because we don't have any hydrogen in here. Or does it get shaved once and then never grow it back? The tail of the Draco called the Train is purely for decoration, can be lost or shorn without harm to the animal. Caring for Dracos is a fully fulfilling endeavor thanks to their companionable personalities. No mention of hydrogen here. The trick is to make one farm for reproduction and let 20 others get sheared till they starve to death. Oh no. Oh, the pump is working. Fantastic. And I was going to say we're just start starting to see this fill up, but no, actually. Well, we are actually seeing the vent overpressure some of the time. I don't know what to do about this gas that snuck its way in here. Nothing, I suppose. I realize it would be ridiculous, but if only we had a tile that let gas through but not water. Would it be ridiculous? I don't know. Oh, yep. The reservoirs are filling up now. I wonder how much of this we're going to fit. If, let's pretend each tile is a thousand kilograms, and this can store five tons, so five tiles each, that's 30 tiles, uh, I think it's going to be close. Airflow tile? Wait, what? Oh, was I thinking about this backward? Blocks liquid flow without obstructing gas. Hmm. So if I put, if I swap this for an airflow tile, does not obstruct liquid or gas. Okay, so you can't have it. You can't have something that blocks gas but not liquid. I think that's what I was thinking about that other time. Uh, airflow tile. Blocks liquid without obstructing gas. So yeah, I think this should be airflow tile. And can we do that? I'm a little surprised it's that easy. Oh, they can actually climb the poles? Just slowly? I didn't know that. Well, there you go. Wait, we just let chlorine in. No! I maybe regret my decision. It's fine. No, it's not. Because when the water gets low enough, um, we're going to let the chlorine out. Fried mushroom. Fantastic. Doesn't that put chlorine in your base? N no. What, what do you mean? 
I would never. Can we prior this? Oh, we got the deodorizers done, that's good. Get that water out of here. How's the heat? Uh, it's manageable. Actually, it's quite good. We don't even have our cooling loop yet. I guess the desalination of the cold brine uh, really is giving us net negative heat in and of itself. Fantastic. Maybe I should stop the brine because... Yeah, I, I think we'll stop this for now. Because I want this water out of the way. And we're running out of storage space. Or well, we probably will run out of storage space if we suck all of this up. So if they have to be immersed in hydrogen, I need to do exactly what I did with the chlorine. But for this room. And then the room's going to have to be smaller so we can't have as many Dracos. I really do wish we could just have some actual airlocks that had the mechanisms to control the airflow that were not so gigantic. We've got batteries, or rather we can at least look at the stats for smart batteries. Power leak 400 joules per cycle, that's less than half of the small battery. 400 joules is not a whole lot. Yes and no, you need hydrogen to grow the scales on the Dracos, but Mealwood can't grow in hydrogen. Uh, how do you... Wait, how are you supposed to feed them? What else do they eat? Uh, balm lily and pinch of pepper, so one of those. Or is in hydrogen, no doubt. Pinch of pepper... It just has air pressure as a requirement. Balm lily requires chlorine. And mealwood? Oxygen, polluted oxygen, or carbon dioxide. So that just leaves pinch of pepper. So you're telling me this is the only thing you can feed them if they're domesticated to have them produce uh, the tails. That is oddly specific. Mixed Atmo rooms, I guess. If the hydrogen is lighter, then we could have oxygen for the mealwood. Oh, we're digging. But the fact that this is getting done tells me a bunch of other stuff got done. We're almost done with our cooling loop. Um, I don't particularly need you to pump power into a battery that isn't connected to anything just yet. Thank you. Okay, how much copper do we have? Almost nothing. How much iron? Ten tons? We'll probably be using iron then. 
for our heavy watt wire. So we could do 116 tiles of this as is. That's not great still. I think I would like to get this water out of the way so that we can have the heavy watt wire go over to the left. Because this is like one of the first things that I want to make sure it's powered. Could probably put some oxygen producers up here as well. Hmm. I have an idea. Let's try... I did that backwards. Should probably make it a bit higher altitude. Um, let's do this. And then we're going to go through like this, I think, except bottle emptier needs to start, oops, I don't want to dig the abyssalite if I don't have to. Something like that. Considering we can put the bottle emptier with the cap sticking into a tile, I wonder if they won't dig that tile out. And then let's try making a the smallest possible water airlock as we go. If I can remember slash figure out what that looks like. I know it's smaller than this. It would be this sort of thing, but with one only one tile to squeeze through here, I think. Or would this be another empty tile here? Probably. Yeah, it's probably the midpoint of, like, diagonal down from both directions. Hydrogen and oxygen can be together. Hydrogen will always be on top. Uh, yes. Hydrogen rises, so if the top of the room is like a bowl, it won't escape. Hmm. I don't know how much I trust... Like, typically when I make setups like that, that in theory, X should never escape, it escapes. Alright, so we're going to drop some water here. An eagle auto bottle. I might have done this wrong. We're about to find out. Or well, maybe we need a tile here, actually. That might have been the only mistake. I think that was it. Could escape if the pressure in the base drops and hydrogen expands all the way to the doors. Yeah, that's a good point. Perfect example. I got this little pocket of polluted oxygen over here, and it's all my fault. Maybe this will get rid of it. Probably. Theoretically, maybe. Eventually. Probably not. Can we crank the priority on this? I guess not. Oh, wait. Yes, we can. Storage is looking rather full. I 
I'm very disappointed in the chlorine. Although, I think we need to get rid of more of these mesh tiles. I don't... Oh, wait, there is chlorine behind the mesh tile. Wait, why is there water here? It shouldn't get that high. Well, as long as it's exposed to the chlorine, that... That's all I really care about here. But yeah, it really doesn't seem to be working. What, it's it's not working enough. Oh. Wait, how did we get down to 60,000 germs? That's half of what we had before. What, what did you just do? How did you just add 30,000 germs to that by spraying something? What? Or was that... The water sea have just happened to finish its job. Let's see. 82,000. Uh, it was only a bit of polluted water that came through, but now we're dropping germs like crazy? Back to 60k? 58? 57? Why does it fluctuate so much? We actually are losing germs. As 130k here, 54k here. What? 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 The, I I I understand nothing. Doesn't sulfur work through water pipes? Sulfur? We've never even seen sulfur. Do we have germs over here? No. Alright, so that's our little water airlock done, I think. We could probably dig down this way, but I'd rather be a bit safer about it. And then we're just gonna... Pitcher pump. Until it's gone. Or I could go to the trouble of putting a pump in. But the main thing is the polluted oxygen isn't coming out. We will need to run a wire over there. Uh, I could just connect it to this. Why not? Just have to make sure to, rem to remove it. Uh, when we've got more load on the wire. Excuse me, I think I got my mute backwards. Uh, we had a pretty deep pool of polluted water when we tested it. Um, obviously, it takes time to propagate the lack of germs, but... I mean, this is what? One, two, three... This is like 17 tiles exposed to the chlorine. That would seem to be a decent amount. They are actually going down. Uh, we're, we're down to like 40k over here. 48k here. I think... I think the trend is downward. I don't know why it took so long to get here. I don't know why there's more on the right. It's weird.
Very, very strange. Okay, there's 37k on, all the way on the left, 157k all the way on the right. And it's just generally... There's just fewer germs on the left. Really weird. Curative tablets, fantastic. More germs over the liquid dropper? What do you mean? Maybe they brought in a bottle of contaminated water. Uh, you mean over the bottle emptier? They hardly ever use that. Your dupes keep dripping their toes in the water on the right. Uh, dipping their toes in. Yeah, I've noticed, because I paid attention to this when we were making it, they never actually drop water when they do this. When they, like, lick water off their feet, it doesn't actually do anything. We don't actually have a way for the dupes to get over here, do we? Um... Let's put this over here, and like so. More on the right, because the duplicates are going into the water. Physically down here? What are they doing? That might explain it, actually. Germ overlay. If I can catch one in the act, if they're covered in germs, then yes, that would explain why there's so many more germs on the right. We've got a bunch of slime germs in the storage bin here. But does that get into the water or no? How much metal do we have? Uh, 11.6 tons of iron. Oh, I need... This needs to reach. That would probably help. And did I set this to auto bottle? Yes. Fantastic. Oh, why are we still paused? He means that there's germs on the dupes, so when they enter the water through the ladder, it transfers. Yes, that was my understanding. Um, that's why I was saying if we could just catch one in the act when they go down there. Got a little bit of slime here. Not a whole lot. It didn't actually go in there. Well, not this time, anyway. It's not the only storage bin that has stuff in it. We're half full on the reservoirs. I don't think we're getting rid of all this water. I should have shut this thing off sooner. And probably when I did disable the building, the dupes dragged their feet as well. Oh, that's a lot of carbon dioxide, chlorine. I thought there was polluted oxygen here. There is a little bit at least. All right, um, let's have a look at the skills and then we'll take a little break. Uh, Sloda is plus five on morale still. We could maybe... Maybe I should leave that, at least for now. Carenza. 
is only plus four right now. I think we'll leave it at the moment. Evil plot is actually negative. Uh-oh. What happened to evil plot? Uh, evil plot? Status? Uh, stress? Morale? Morale. Barracks, two shift nope. break, duplicant, duplicant, plus one. Washroom, interested skills learned. Last cycle's decor, poor. Nothing particularly noteworthy there. Did I just overshoot? The storage bin being the source of germs would also make sense to me, but I don't know how the germ propagation actually works. I know you can prevent... Like, the dupes won't get slime lung from slime stored underwater. But I don't know about the germs. The germs can't mix, so the slime lung won't explain why there's so much food poisoning there. Okay. Alright, uh, I think it's time for some words on stream. Definitely need a quick break. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, good luck, have fun, and I'll be back shortly.
those are kind of tricky. All right, let's continue, shall we? Where were we? And other than wondering about germs. We were piping this water away, but I think we're going to run out of storage space. This is like 13 tiles. I was going to get rid of most of it. It's still going to be kind of in the way. And I don't want it like just sloshing down further and further as we... I guess I could make, like, a bit of a storage area for it here. And we could move the pump down a little bit. What have I not... Oh, gas reservoir. Gas reservoirs are huge. Not in terms of how much they can store, though. That's like 15 tiles. I guess it's a little bit better than water. Um, if one tile is 1,000 kilograms of gas, which it is... Oh, it's even worse than I thought. No, I, I meant not 1,000 kilograms. Dub. Like 1.5 kilograms? So this is like 10 tiles of gas storage. But it's 15 tiles in sp of space. So it's actually about as bad. I think the liquid reservoir is better. If you're using both the space in front of it and the liquid reservoir to store uh, liquid. You don't double your storage, but you gain like, what, 70% or something? There's no compression going on or anything. We've got two sage eggs here. Um, not today, please. So did we really shear our Draco once and it's never going to happen again? Unless we change things so there's hydrogen? Could I crank up the priority to get rid of this? There's no such priority. This is already priority 8. Is it going to give us water or polluted water right now? 8.9 ton polluted water. Hmm. I don't think this is working. I mean, we'll get rid of some of the... Uh, they haven't even delivered the filtration medium. Okay. I was going to say we would get rid of some of the polluted oxygen. If not most of it. How fast do these work? Uh, ventilation? No. What is deodorizer under oxygen here we go 100 grams per second so about 15 seconds to suck up the worst tile of polluted oxygen no that's 22 kilograms what apparently polluted oxygen can be a lot heavier a lot denser than oxygen. 22 kilograms of polluted oxygen. Good grief. Also, did I not disable this? We don't need more of this. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Total disaster. Whoops. Not going to grow at all, I see. Hey, the Faith. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
I might let that drip for a bit lo Oh no. Well, we do have a filter on this one. That'll be fine, actually. Yeah, I really want to get rid of this polluted water so that we can run heavy wet wire over here. So that we can have our um, generator room, basically, and centralized power. I don't think we have anything where we strictly need uh, to use small wires at this point. Except that the decor on the heavy watt wires is even worse. Negative 25, six tiles, yikes. As opposed to negative five for one tile. That's actually horrendous. Um, but I would have to squeeze transformers in all over the place. To not use the heavy watt wire. I guess we just save some metal as well by using regular wire more. How much does the transformer cost? 200. Okay, so that's literally two tiles of heavy watt wire. Yeah, we definitely save a significant chunk of metal by using the transformers. Just got to get in the habit of making room for the Transformers. Oh, you are pumping the polluted water. Just maybe not as fast as I would like. I guess that's going to flow downhill, probably. Get this out of here. Uh, I suppose the bottle emptier can get the water level a bit above where the liquid vent would put things. So there's that. We're not using much of these storage bins. I could add another liquid reservoir here. It would be a little awkward. Maybe move the vent. I don't want to do that. So what do we have here? 22, maybe 25 to 30 tiles of water. And we can store another five, I think. Uh, I'll probably take the algae at this point. And I guess... I guess we'll bring this water down here. Maybe a bit deeper than that, actually. We do have a phosphorite factory with our Draco. That's not a bad thing. Wait, do we have a thing to make fertilizer? I, I kind of forgot about that. Whoops. Stations, is it? No. Refinement. Fertilizer synthesizer. Uh, is this the one that spits out natural gas? Yes, it is. And it spits it out without a gas output pipe. It just vomits it up. So I think we want to find somewhere else to do this. 
we get fertilizer, we get natural gas, and we get heat. I might want to build this out of gold amalgam, because I'm thinking about putting it next to our natural gas geyser. That's going to output at 150 degrees. I want to have one room, preferably one room where all of our natural gas is going to be. Um, where was it? Refinement? I think... I think the natural gas generator was the same size and shape as this. Oh, we have it. We have it. Let's see. Refinement. Yeah, it's three by four. All right. And what was the... Natural gas. No, I was trying to remember where the gas output or input was. Oh, it doesn't have. Hold on. Natural gas generator. Middle, bottom, left is the power input. I don't think I care about that, actually. But here it is. It's the same spot for the gas input. Top right is the output. For the refiner, uh, fertilizer synthesizer, it's got the exact same, except for the power and the fact that it has no output gas thing. Okay, so that means, that means we need a gas pump. Well, we can put the actual generator wherever we want, I think. Natural gas in, carbon dioxide and polluted water out. Hmm, I hope I didn't just realize something. I, I just realized something. I think we need to do some surgery here. Pronto, please. I'm going to add a liquid reservoir specifically for polluted water. Wait. Then it's not going to go here, is it? Uh, in that case... Probably just right next to this thing. I don't like that I'm taking up the space that I'm that I might potentially use for a machine here. But this is more important right now. Liquid pipe get out of here. Actually Hmm. I should leave that where it is for the moment. And we'll have... Uh, I guess I would need a bridge to do this properly. I could just put the bridge here instead. It's a little bit of extra pipe, but I'm not that worried about it. Okay. Obviously, we don't need that much storage space for polluted water, normally. But because it's trying to output water to the same place... It's actually the water storage that's the problem. And I'm filling it up rapidly. I should probably stop that. Um... Yeah, we need to make sure there's some slack 
in the water storage, otherwise we're not going to be able to get our polluted water out of the picture. Having a storage for polluted water would just shift the problem. If I keep pumping all of this in here and it fills up completely. Like we need to, we actually need to prioritize the water output from the CF. And I think I know how to do that. If I put this here and bring this over here. I don't know if that'll work actually. If this is empty and then this is going this way. I know we can do priorities with liquid bridges. But I'm not sure exactly how they work. Or I don't remember. I think if... I think the output on the liquid bridge would prioritize the liquid bridge, right? Okay, let's first of all remove what we've already got here. And I don't think I will build this. Because it's just sort of shifting the problem and not necessarily, and we have to stop this anyway. Before we run out of space here. Everyone's asleep, of course. Okay. Get that deconstructed. Fantastic. Now we want a liquid bridge. Probably here, honestly. That would probably work. I don't even have to change the piping as is. And then if this goes up here, it should prioritize whatever's coming through the liquid bridge. And then we have our vent here. I'm... That's also not going to help. The vent is going to be blocked. We need the water. We need this water to come in here, actually. And then they're both coming out of the same place. And I didn't have to remove this. I think that's right. And any kind of manual management or automation is just going to depend on making sure our water storage isn't full before we add more water to it. Leave some slack for the polluted water. I wonder if that means... Because we're shifting germs into here, in the storage, in the reservoir. I actually see no germs in the reservoir. Don't tell me it deletes germs or something. But because we're not dumping more germs in here all the time, they might have a chance to 
The most I can see is 72,000. That is a significant drop from before. I'm not getting my hopes too high just yet. But maybe we're slowly running out of gems? Okay. Uh, so, I guess... Make this temporary water storage area a bit deeper. Should probably just add a ladder here. Take some of that gold amalgam. I'll probably leave some random tiles undug and unreachable. Maybe not. Sixty K, forty seven K. The germ counts are undoubtedly a lot lower than they used to be. Does it show germs in the pipes? It does. So I guess... It's about the same as the water itself. No wait, we're looking at water. Contents... never mind. Wait, hold on. Contents. It doesn't say anything about germs. Okay. Isn't the dirty water generation water generation for bathrooms? Can't you just loop it? Uh. Do you mean like what we've done now? Or. That was probably about the time I was figuring it out. Yeah. Schleipers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I didn't get to see that. Do you have germs on you? Yes, but it's slime lung. Or slime, rather. Hmm. 59k in that corner now? Maybe this whole time we were just trending towards zero on germs, but it took a long time to notice with how they kind of get sloshed about. Slime, 12,470,000 germs. That's in the storage bin, though, where we're storing slime. I think that's kind of the point. And yes, they made some of that unreachable. Alright, I think that is just about going to cut it. Whatever water flows down there, we could just mop it up if we want. I'm not going to worry too much about one tile of hydrogen floating about. Do 
Did we get... We did not get rid of this polluted oxygen. Awaiting delivery... Ugh... I feel like things like this that hardly ever need a delivery could maybe get a first delivery that's automatically prioritized. That'd be nice. Oh, they actually supplied those. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay. How am I going to build the natural gas room? You can use dirty water in bathrooms for reasons unknown. As in, you use dirty water as the input. That's, um... That's a little bit gross. Just a tad. One would think that would somewhat defeat the purpose of the bathroom. And you'd get a lot of off-gassing. The what's up? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. These don't have a decor penalty. I think I checked earlier. Yeah. That is so weird to me that they they don't mind pipes, but they loathe wires. Oh, shine bug. What are you doing? Get out of there. Oh no. Um, I guess that's where you're spending the rest of your life? And you can reuse it indefinitely. Ugh. I don't want to think about that. I want to very carefully not think about that. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, they don't have a way... In and out of this. Okay. Did we dig any further anywhere else? Yes, we did. Fantastic. Uh, should probably pick up this what seed. That's kind of valuable. We got a slickster lava. Hmm. It eats carbon dioxide and poops out oil, right? And if we're not careful, it'll just eat oxygen instead. And give us nothing, except for... Decor, I think it is? Or... It might have been morale more directly somehow. And we can make them consume carbon dioxide and give us petroleum, but only in extreme heat. 10 kilograms of crude oil per cycle, 20 kilograms of carbon dioxide. I'd have to move them down here somewhere, and I'd need a place to put them, and yeah, there's, there's too much to do. I, I think we passed this up before as well. It's too soon. I might do the AETN loop that I did last time, but maybe a bit better. I don't love the temperature of the water coming out of here. We could electrolyze... We're not... We've, we're reaching the point where we're not using this water. If we electrolyze this, the brine is at negative 1.5C right here. That is fantastic.
is there any... I don't think there's any danger of the water coming out of the desalinator frozen, right? Because it, the machine itself generates a bunch of heat. The cold is spreading. Maybe I should do a electrolysis setup, like, right below this. Since that'll generate heat, it'll equalize a bit. Um, and we're starting with water that is going to be significantly cooler. It also won't have anywhere near as far to go. Do we have... What do we have automation-wise? Nothing, basically, because we don't have refined metal. Um, I was hoping to go dig up lead, but we're taking forever to get there. But on the other hand, the amount of heat that it takes to produce refined metal. Not to mention everything else. The desalinate does, doesn't generate nearly enough heat to keep the clean water from freezing? I think so. It got hot enough to damage itself when it was here. And it's only, like, at most, negative 1.5 degrees before it goes in the desalinator. We're also going to be pumping the cold brine through the entire base, equalizing, cooling the base, and then back up here to the brine. So it won't be as cold when it gets, when it's gone through all that. Can we do electrolysis already? Yeah, we can. Pretty sure we checked the math last Oni stream and it's not even enough to raise the temp by one degree. Oh. But I'm sure... Piping through all of this will be, probably. Worst case, uh, and I use, I say that in big air quotes, um, we'll have a heat sink. We, we need to put heat into this. Did we get rid of... Most of that polluted oxygen, yes. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm thinking electrolysis right about here, probably. Um, let's dig this stuff up. And figure out... Actually, why don't I do this a bit more managed? Um, get rid of every second one of these. And then we won't get stuck or unreachable stuff. Now get rid of this. And come to think of it, if I hurry up, they could just reach these anyway. Nope. Nope. Never mind. We found a hatch. Alright, so electrolyzer doesn't take up much space, but we need, I believe it was two uh, gas pumps directly next to it to get rid of the hydrogen. That goes straight into uh, a hydrogen generator. How fast does the hydrogen generator consume? 100 grams per second. And electrolyzer gives us 112 grams per second. Okay. 
and it costs 120 plus, I think, oh, 240, 480, 600 watts to run all three of these at the same time. Hydrogen generator gives us 800. We've got 200 to spare. No doubt that's going to go into filters and stuff. Uh, the gas filter alone is 120, so we've got 80 left over. Can we maybe... If we put it in a small enough room, uh, we could probably have the gas pumps on one side. And it won't matter, question mark? It shouldn't. And then... They can have the smallest possible... T-junction... Going into that. Uh, and then we have... Well, it needs to be the yellow output that does the hydrogen, right? Is there a world where we put the hydrogen generator in the same room? That would be convenient. Oh, this has got tiles that we can't see. Uh, it's one tile taller, but... What if we did it over this way, for example? Um... A uh, gas filter, rather. Yeah, this way it wouldn't stick out. So we would take hydrogen from the yellow output. I can't put a bridge here, unfortunately. But it's okay if the gas pipe sticks into uh, the walls or ceilings. We could have like a gas bridge here, a gas bridge here, so they could swap sides. Hydrogen pump goes there. Unless I want to have some storage. Uh, we could have an amount of storage without using up any more space. Just by doing something like this. So this is, this leaves us with 80 watts, right? That it could theoretically run itself after... This doesn't actually have a gas output, it just spits out hydrogen, I think. That's why we need the pumps. And we need to suck the oxygen and hydrogen away. Alright, so we need to pump oxygen elsewhere. Um, I would love to come up with a design that's like a nice little rectangular unit, if possible, but I'm not optimistic about it. If the water is cleaned while it's still very cold, it will just freeze as soon as it exits the salinator. Yeah, if it's below zero. Definitely. Um, I feel like I'm, it's either not possible or I'm close to a very nice compact design. Hmm. What if... What if we do put the pumps on either side, but... 
So the gas filter is definitely got, not going to stick out either way. We need a middle tile. Oh, it's here. Derp. I don't think it matters if it's in the middle, as long as we have the T-junction, right? So that we get 50-50 of whatever's coming. The only problem, if we're trying not to use up another tile vertically, is how we can't bridge... Where is the gas input for this thing? Bottom left. Mm. Bottom left. Oh. No? I don't think. Wait, could I get... Here we go. Could we maybe... Bridge here? I don't think that's going to work out. If this goes here and this goes here, or if this... Oh, I think that might be it. Wait, no, I can't this across. If we do this, then the T-junction probably won't work right. Or maybe like that should be fine, actually. And then we could have another bridge like this. So this goes down here. And then that is where we put our hydrogen generator. I think that's it. Probably. And we could have, like, the boundary of the room. Uh, we could have the everything but hydrogen out this way. Which means we could have these in series if we want to, up to a point, because we're going to bottleneck on the gas pipe with the oxygen. I guess I could have one using the ceiling and one using the floor. I could have them right next to each other. How many tiles is this? Uh, ten. Two, four, six, and then four. Uh, did I miss something here? No, no, this goes here. Okay. And we definitely have one, two whole tiles in case we need sensors. I can't remember if sensors can't take up the same space. I, I know like end gates, for example, can be behind all of these things, but I'm pretty sure sensors have to have their own tile. But we've got a couple of tiles we can use for that. And the abyssalite is all the way over here. Alright, let me just paint this somewhere. Because we can't save blueprints in this game. Um, let me just paint this somewhere where they can't build it. Bridge, like that. Gas filter, like that. Output, wherever. 
bridge this way. And then hydrogen generator. Yeah, I think I've got that down. Probably, maybe. Now we just need 10 by, well, 10 by 3 with tiles on the outside of it, basically. Uh, let's get rid of this. I could maybe stack them vertically. That might be acceptable. And uh, theoretically, if we have the door at the floor level, that should reduce the chance of losing any hydrogen on the occasion that we have to go in there. Crazy idea, you put the oxygen through the cold saline and cool your base? Put the oxygen through it? Oh, we're already cooling the base. We're pumping this uh, cold brine all the way through here to cool the base and probably get it up below, uh, above zero degrees before we put it into the desalinator. Can they not reach this? They can reach this. Why did you... Didn't I remove the order to remove that one? Whatever. We're just going to deconstruct this. Um, so, airlock goes here. Oh, how are we going to get the power in and out? Oh, should it be on its own power network? No, it needs to be kick-started. So it should probably just... have a heavy what? We're going to have to move these wires, obviously. Uh, I don't think... We don't have anywhere to fit a heavy what to connect all of those like that if we want to stack them vertically, but we can just do them in from the side like this every time. So this is how many tiles? There we go, ten. That tile is actually already in the right spot. Polluted oxygen, why are you so resilient? How dare you. I think I'm just not going to worry about that any longer. That's a lot of random water. Can they not drop it here? Keldak has zero jams on him. Oh, 91, sorry. After going in and out of that water. You, sir, Carenza. That is way too much slime lung. Which is to say more than zero. Alright. Um, let's get these tiles here. Oh, we can reach the top as well, that's nice. Uh, I really need to... to get this done. I, th I should put a pump down here, it's going to take forever otherwise. I can't queue it up until that's been moved, can I? No. I can't queue up ladders either. Okay. No harm in building some of this stuff out ahead of time. So let's start with the hydrogen generator. I'm surprised that doesn't block us, actually. I'm, I'm trying to look for a spot where 
we can see if the top right tile is blocked. Yeah, it is. I thought so. Yeah, I'm surprised they let us build this here. That's good. Lucky. And then... Gas pump. Should I assume it could get hot? We do have a decent amount of gold amalgam. 800 though, jeez. Quite a lot of iron. It shouldn't get that hot, especially so close to this. It, it's, it's probably fine. What's the worst that could happen? We could lose a little bit of metal for no reason because I wasn't careful. Electrolyzer. Gas filter. Uh, does it matter? Not really. Maybe I could do better this way? No. It can't stick out that way. Okay, I'm tempted to try to figure out another layout here. We can't do this because this doesn't have an output. Unless I just do it like that. But then where does this go? Nowhere. Unless... Oh, that might be simpler. And simpler is a mercy for ourselves when we have to maintain this later. Yeah, that is way better, actually. Look at that. Wait, that's not where that goes. What the hell was I thinking there? Um, this is our output oxygen. Or rather, output anything but hydrogen. That is so much more succinct than this spaghetti mess. And there's no doubt whatsoever that um, that this T intersection of pipe is going to work to balance these two inputs. Alright, cool. Um, and I think I would like to do another one down here. Can I copy the heavy what? There we go. Um, pumps. Electrolyzer. What was I doing? Should I have a water stock? Nah, it's fine. Probably. I could probably squeeze the water storage in over here anyway. You could filter for oxygen instead of hydrogen, but then what if something else gets in there? Then the filter output could go straight to the generator and you could skip the bridge. Yeah, no. Something else is going to get in here sooner or later, whether I like it or not. No matter how hard I try to skip having to use filters or things like this. That's just not how it works out. And then I've got these two on their own separate output pipe because I don't want them bottlenecking. And pipes cost nothing in terms of power or anything like that. Cool. Um, and then we have, of course, heavy watt wire to connect all of these. And I'm 
going to deprioritize all of this. Because we don't want to bother building this until we're certainly done with this first project up here. There are ways, but it is better to do it yourself and later learn from your mistakes, definitely. Val Valich, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm kind of excited to get this far ahead in terms of using an infinite source for oxygen instead of running out of algae. Maybe I should run our cooling loop. Not maybe, I should definitely run our cooling loop through here. Before it goes to the desalinator. Well, it's not a loop. We're just pumping the cold fluid through there before we use it. We may turn it into an actual cooling loop at some point. The salt water travels around before it enters the desalinator. Yes, it goes through the entire base. Well, not the entire base, but a, a, a significant segment of it. Alright, that is, even ignoring the low priority stuff, uh, quite a chunk of building orders I've given them. How are we going to get in here? Can I just dig in this way? Where's, which one's the entrance? I think this side. Let's muck this up. I can't yet. Surprisingly enough. Bit of chlorine. We could actually just dig through there, apparently, but... No cheating. I think I'll... I don't know, this seems like a lot of water already, but... Why not have even more? I might make the water storage area bigger once we've got this, uh brine and water out of the way. Maybe even big enough that I could have some mesh tiles above the liquid reservoirs. I could even just add mesh tiles under the existing stuff here. And then we have another layer below it. That sounds good. much easier to expand it that way than to move everything. That's a lot of building. Poor shine bug. Well, it says it's happy. Happiness is a corner of carbon dioxide trapped forever, I suppose. Did you really just come here to dig one tile? 
Uh, maybe I should have oxygen masks to go this way. I could dig through here and get rid of this ladder and that would sort itself out. Except then whatever gas is here would find its way up this way. I could put another airlock, I suppose. Wait, that's not gonna... That's not gonna be quite right, is it? I'm really quite happy with this layout, though. And we've got one, two, three entire tiles if we need to add a sensor or something. So... Oh, we're not including the pump to get the water started. 240, 240, 120, that's 600, uh, 720, and this can generate 800, uh, and theoretically we get more hydrogen than we can consume out of this. But in practice we haven't seen it work that way, so we shouldn't have to worry that the hydrogen is just going to back up and the whole thing's going to get stuck. But if we do, that'll be sort of a good problem to have. We'll just uh, have a hydrogen storage. And we'll start banking something we can use for power. Matrim looking very pleased with himself there. That's our first hydrogen generator. Why wouldn't he be? Oh, I guess we're getting the low priority builds done already. Wait, that's kind of weird. Or is it? They don't have a path down here right now, which is what I intended. So they're going to dig this, build the airlock, and only come through here with oxygen masks, which means they're not going to dig one tile and then turn around. I guess we could put this here while we're at it. Just about out of time for today, though. Oh, it's already working? Wait, what? Uh... No, that's fine. It's just going to create a vacuum in here. That's okay. In fact, if anything, that's good. Because if there's other gases in here, it'll get rid of it. I guess that doesn't matter. It'll sort itself out either way. Where is it getting the power from... Manual generators. Once this is a vacuum, this will stop working and stop consuming power anyway. It's almost there. Oh, is it printing time? It's printing time. Dirt. Fantastic. Yeah, I think we're about to have vacuum. Uh, gas. We've already got some vacuum in here. Oh, that's, that's where the gas pumps are working, actually. 
You can actually see which tiles they suck in. It's not actually... It's kind of the shape of this thing, but it's not like the 2x2 two two tiles. It's one to the left from where you might think down below. And... We have... Not quite vacuum. Very nearly vacuum. I want to see this vacuum before we go, because apparently it's going to take another 10 seconds or something. But maybe it's teasing us. Five milligrams of oxygen. Oh, here we go. And it's gone. I don't know why it disappeared in that direction at the end. That was kind of weird. But yeah, here we have vacuum. All right, let's find someone to raid. Uh, I guess we'll start with oxygen not included. We got discount engineer. Might do chest check. Why not chest check today? Take care, Evil Pla. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Rastorio 2 plus Space Exploration. And uh, I think it's time to start spamming rail blocks in earnest. Although I was considering a last minute redesign of the rail blocks. Especially if I could pull off hexagons. I don't know if I can pull off somewhat small hexagons though. More? More gear? Yes indeed. Many, many gears. Alright. See you guys tomorrow. And for now, say hello to Just Jack. Take care. Tyrannosaurus! Hello! Thank you so much for the raid. Oh man, that emote's cool. Spiders? Nice. Uh, how is your...